Uh, yeah, today's a special episode because uh, you all, you both have, both groups have converged at the same point at the same time. So we are not if we just keep walking away from them. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'd like to see them all try. <laughs> You get running. Yeah. They, they all, everyone. The, we the, lock uh, every door behind us. As we do. <laughs> the Astral <laughs> Academy appears, and you're just. It's that uh, that meme yesterday with uh, uh, or last week with Pikel chasing uh, Cheese. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're just yeah. like that down. Walks, mad. Yeah, who made that meme? That amazing meme. I have no idea. <laughs> who made that? That was so good. <laughs> hey, Brett. Question. Yes. Am I am I launching Goblins of Io or Astral Academy? Oh, uh, you're la Goblins launching Vaya. Goblins of Io. Goblins. Wednesday, Benji. Go Go Goblins. <laughs> Goblins. I took that as a win. Yeah. Um, also, everyone's character sheet uh, in the Goblin site should be updated with the items that they have acquired slash found. Mm -hmm. um, what if we just play Mario Party online? No, oh, God, God, Eric. Oh, nice. Again with this? <laughs> Krendor. Krendor, oh. the last thing. Even last week, you brought I, this up. And I was like, this is an did, old game. I do remember, like, being on my Switch last night and seeing Krendor at, like, fucking 3 a.m. crank on Mario Party. I, 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 I got thrown for a loop. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I was streaming with viewers, and I lost all of it. Oh. See, I didn't have this. I, I consider it almost illegal to play Mario Party by yourself for fun. So it's a good thing you're playing it with someone else. With someone. I've known people. Well, you can do that now. That's the point. I, don't know. Yeah. I used to play with no one. I would turn it all AI so I would farm up stars and coins for mini games. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Literally. Damn, actually, replay, mate. Shane, buddy. Never say did that. <laughs> Never admit to that again. Why for would you? Why no, would you I speak your truth. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Don't silence your truth, dude. Oh man, why would you say that Score in front one of... for goblins? <laughs> oh no! Yep. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, hey, he was a recent addition to the crew. We, 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 don't, know. <laughs> hey, we don't even know if he's a goblin. Or he not. represents you. All right. <laughs> hey, no, we think he is a goblin. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, as far as we know. Um, at in twenty minutes, I'll be stepping away to grab my food because. I ordered food before, uh, before today's D and D. That's unacceptable. Have you ever you ever do an, like an Uber Eats order and instead of ordering uh, it, you just left your food in the cart and you didn't like yeah. press through with oh, it? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, we don't have Uber Eats here. Oh, sorry, man. you just did it. You made another <laughs> big mistake. That. You made it a your fault situation, which yeah. you shouldn't have done. You could yeah. have blamed anyone else. Yeah, yeah. No, you I made, made a it. Big mistake, bro. Definitely my fault. Definitely my fault. I'll take the blame on that. One. I'll take I'll take the L on this one, everyone. So. Well, I always see it. There's no reason to ever allow yourself to take blame for anything when you could blame a faceless person no one knows. <laughs> this <Forever>. fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, like Joe. Yeah, yeah like me. <laughs> Shout out to the service industry, those poor souls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't want to do that. All right. We're diving in. We're jumping in. We've got a lot to do. We're dumpster diving? We're dumpster diving. A little bit. In a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah, oh, in a lot of it. Um, so, oh, are the pirates here? Setting up the no, the pirates are not for the last time. <laughs> also, You've been throwing shade at your friends so for the last time, Jesse. <laughs> Dodger and Gerard's character walk through the door, and Jesse's like, "This is the best day ever. I'm ready to go. I pull out a gun. Well, I would try and kill them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I would throw my body at them till I died." Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So a lot, a lot has happened between uh, the Astral Academy, which of course we will be diving into today as well. But the perspective starts within the goblins. Um, you, the, uh, goblins, you were over in the on the planet of Cosma, trying desperately to escape uh, after breaking control from Lagos. You fought against a giant worm of the space variety, emerging victorious. You set a teleporter to a mysterious station uh, where a entity was identified to arrive within a period of 50 seconds before blinking away. Curious about this and potentially believing what it may have been and also in the hopes to learn more. I believe to learn more about Lagos slash stop Lagos before returning back home. You've decided to check out this facility. It is there that you have learned uh that this facility is a sort of like 
an experimental facility uh, working on uh, the Lagos project, as it was called. Um, it also mentions some notes of an ancient planet destroyed of the Auroran homeland of Earth, of the home planet of Earth, with uh, the Aurorans attempting to create a sun uh, where the planet of Jupiter would be, um, as they are hoping to occupy the planet of Io. With that, you the, the station emanates, immediately turns on, and as you walk out into the halls, uh, you are greeted by two automatrons, essentially, of a technology that is not only ancient to IO humanoids, but also to, well, definitely, I would assume, to goblins at this point in time. So, that is where we will begin things. Uh, first, let me go ahead and set the mood. There we go. Yeah, we really beefed this one. <laughs> oh, I mean, it would, no, we're good. It wouldn't be a D and D game if the, some beefage did not happen. Um, beefage. Yeah, yeah, just a little. Yeah, a little beefage. I don't like that. Okay, I'll uh, I'll change the word for next time. Thank you. Goblins, please roll uh -huh. initiative as the automatrons are set to strike against you. We begin immediately diving into the combat. I'd like to see them try. <laughs> nice, as always, uh, to no one's surprise. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. That's the opposite of what we want. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I did. <laughs> we did talk about me wanting the opposite. I need to go first. You need to go last. It's, it's <laughs> hey, you want to trade, man? Stop on my leg. <laughs> yes. So, uh, some things to reveal about. There's we we've, we there's been a couple of combat upgrades now that you guys are higher level, but also to spice things up a little bit. Uh, right off the bat, you will not know the initiative uh, counter of the enemies until an upgrade, huh? they officially <laughs> attack. <laughs> yep. I like that. Yeah. It sound like you were gonna give us upgrades for a second. I was like, Fuck you. Why do you think I gave this... you all those items? Yeah, exactly. Wait, right. Are you saying this is about this combat, or are you saying this is just like a meta thing in general? This is going to be now a meta on. thing in general from now on. Oh, cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, there's also a lot of things that I've been experimenting in different campaigns that are going to be uh, going to be revealing themselves uh, a little bit later in the session more than likely, but it should make combat a little bit interesting. So, uh, you all begin to poise to strike. Uh, Klern, I'm going to have you go first as you see these two literally giant machines begin marching ahead towards you, ready to strike uh... against the intruders of the station. How big are these things in comparison to us? Uh, How they, giant? Oh my gosh, they're probably like three times your size. All right, all right. I mean, they look Still like hulking big. iron giants. Three times is actually like the average human height. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like eight feet tall. Well, uh, three to four times, three to four times. Okay, all right. Well, one of us has to be the person that checks how much health they have, and then we can sort of decide what the deal is, gang. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them, give this one over here, this asshole, uh, a scan. All right. Uh, with a the little nine. squint of a scan check of a nine, that is insufficient. Well, uh, I, uh, I don't really. What do you guys think it is? Is like, is this a fight or is this a run through the next door and close it behind us deal? Cause, uh, how do we know they they want to fight us? I'm looking at they, they, weren't they like pointing lasers at us up until now? Oh yeah, there's like there's literally like they're holding up what appears to be some sort of like pipe is the best way to describe over to you. Um, right. you can go ahead and just figure out if uh if it would be a cannon or not or an actual I'm weapon. I'm getting bad vibes is how I would put it from these ones. Um, we have no bearing of how strong they are, but they look fucking hulking, so yeah. Uh, I'd want to probably run, yeah. Oh, man. Clear well, up, mate. Yeah. yeah. You got. You, you want to try talking to them, maybe? Oh, you want me to try talking to the big robots? You want me, you want <laughs> yeah. me to talk to them? Yeah, maybe they've got feelings. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you understand us? I'm going to just yell at this one. And see if if I get anything back from that. <laughs> you get nothing. There is no response from it except the whirl of machinery, as it continues to hold up uh, what appears to be a an open pipe. 
of They're pointing spark at us, guys. With a uh, sparkling energy sort of charging it's from it. to sparkle, guys. Oh, shit. Is that bad? I think it's bad. Look, I got an idea. All right? These guys are pretty big. We squeeze through this door right here. We open this thing up, squeeze in, lock it behind us. And you know, I doubt those guys could even get in if we lock it behind us. All right. Open it then, clan. I, uh, I'm, I'm tucking up on that one. <laughs> uh, that's sort of like a you guys deal. You know how to open one of these things, right, model? <laughs> I remember that yeah. I am, in fact, the only person that has ever used our Cosmo Draw ability ever to open something. <laughs> yeah. So you, you'll figure it out. Just try to open that door, all right? Uh, I'm, like I'm fiddling I'm... around my pockets for my, for my lockpicking keys and stuff. Without knowing their health or anything, it's insane for me to spend a like significant spell slot for nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what I am gonna do is spend this turn casting a third level intellect fortress. Ooh. We don't know what these things can do, and that's an hour of high quality <laughs> fucking sustained protection from a lot of bullshit. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, I'm gonna put that on Myself, <laughs> Pkel, nice, and uh, Cheezle's a psycho now, and I can't. He runs away from half of the encounters, and the other <laughs> half of them, he just gets confused. Skagzag could die in one hit. <laughs> yeah, anything. <laughs> Marble dodges everything, so I I'm think good. it's Skagzag. <laughs> yeah, I think Skagzag's to play. All right. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to just sort of shimmy closer to this door because I don't want to be in a straight line because it's very obvious these guys are about to blast us with a laser. I'm going to squeeze up. Try to open this one, all right? Does that end your round? <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, as you guys begin to prepare, a door over here opens up. It's st it steams a little bit as it opens. Um, as at that point, you will see Tremor run out of the uh, of the door. Oh, my bad. This door. Right over here. Uh, Tremor run out of the door. As the, a as the Astral Academy begins rushing out. Uh, Astral Academy... You all have arrived uh, from the Astral Veil over to this area with the inevitable that was able to do a reverse banishment on itself to teleport itself uh, over into the chamber. Uh, you've learned quite a bit of information about the Lagos Project, uh, Earth, uh, the state of, uh, of Io itself, and uh, recently saw it on a camera view uh, goblins fighting off against giant automatrons uh, within the same station as you are. With that, you have decided uh, to... Well, I, I won't say what you have decided to do, but you all at this point will come out of the area. The hell? Uh, um, for, for sake of Duckazon, uh, Duckazon will be staying behind to observe... The inevitable, and it's what it's currently doing uh, over in the area. But uh, yeah, you would—I I believe at this point, if there's any sort of prep you would have done beforehand, which I believe you already have, like mage armors and things like that, you would have. Uh, but uh, but yeah, you would come out to see the goblins fighting off against the automatrons. Uh, you're free to talk, yell, do whatever you wish at this point. We can drop out of initiative for a moment to do that. Would we see sure. them past the fucking big yeah. Yeah. glowing laser charging at us? Uh, right now? this is you, a narrow hallway. Uh, yeah, you would see them over in this corner from it. It's not a, a, a giant wall, so you would definitely see them through this, through this thing. The hell is that? Are those? Is that? It's human. Oh! It's human. What does Skagzag look? It's human. What? Um, <laughs> Can I just <laughs> dive and grab Skagzag's eyes? I don't think Skagzag actually knows what a real human looks like. He never really connected that dot, so really... <laughs> You're coming to anything's a human at this point. That's nothing. Look in my eyes, Skag. <laughs> eh. 
You're what? gonna be okay, buddy. Just don't don't look away. Just look at my eyes. <laughs> oh How am I supposed goodness. to fight in this battle if I look at you? Is, is that a real what? human over there? Humans. Zag, real humans are here. Oh, humans are here. Are <laughs> real are you trying humans? to turn your head Zag, out of my humans. hands? Humans, <laughs> real humans. Skag, Zag, stop turning. Stop. I hate humans. Uh, why are you so I strong? I hate them too, Fred. I hate them. <laughs> Tremor would uh, yell down the hallway. We got your letter. Oh my God! Have you been smoking? <laughs> what is what <laughs> in your voice? Yeah, it's not him. How long has it been? Like a goblin. <laughs> I, I'll tell you later. Let's he is dead now. Deal what with happened? This first. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, um, all right, guys. He said he got my letter. I wrote a lot yeah. of things to them, but honestly, <laughs> really, you should have sent him a lozenge, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, we should probably we, we should probably take the help and try to figure this out after, yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys handle that one. We'll handle the one over here then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, with that, it sounds like the talk is complete. I need the Astral Academy now to roll their initiative, uh, and then we're I gonna do. I'm sorry. I don't think we can see our characters, can we? Uh, can. let me. Let me go ahead and whoop, whoop, put you over where you're supposed to view. Can you see that? If you don't oh, have... Oh, we're over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Big map, big map. Got it, 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 got it. And then we're going to do something a little different with initiative at this point. Uh, okay. Uh, goblins have rolled initiative. Astral Academy has rolled initiative. So this is what we're going to do as big party fights can tend to get a little dragged on. Um, I'm always finding ways to continue to enhance the process. Um, Astral Academy. Uh, I would like each of you from initiative order to choose a goblin to share initiative with. And then you will cool. be taking your turn simultaneously with that goblin. He wants to be my buddy. So, we'll start with the top of it. Al, uh, which goblin's initiative would you like to share? Um, I'll go with, uh, I'll go with Skagzag. Okay. <laughs> Your initiative becomes nice. an 18. Uh, Zahani, which goblin would you like to share initiative with? Pico. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you now have initiative of 20. Uh, Gideon, which goblin would you like to share initiative with? Is the hand-drawn goblin taken? Uh, yes, it is. That is Skag Zag. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna go with the short one with the good hair. If that one's that one's taken too. Uh, Cheezel. Uh, okay. Cheezel. All right. Yep. Um, so you mean Cheezel? Oh, Cheezel. My apologies. Uh, and Trimmer, which uh, Goblin's Initiative would you like to share? Hmm. The diseased one or Clarent? Clarent's <laughs> got really good fucking initiative, dude. Yeah. Do yeah, I get to go I've now if I pick Clarent? That is correct. Yeah, you you get to go now. Then I pick Clarent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! All right. Uh, so do I get you, Brett? Do I get <laughs> to share with the teacher? You <laughs> oh, no. Share with the teacher. <laughs> yeah, the assigned <laughs> partner. Oh, she has gags, I Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. <laughs> uh, Trimmer, it is your turn. Um, okay. I don't. So you have to tell me if I can do this. You haven't added the uh, spell that we got from that one thing in the cave oh, yet, yeah. but I wanted to use that. Uh, which spell is um, that? The oh, uh, tectonic oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, we, we would cast that. Um, I apologize for not adding that. I forget that. Yeah, you could do do that. That was a, I think we agreed that was a fourth level, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I remember what yeah. that does. Okay. Did you happen to write down what that did? And if not, I could go and check my notes. No, I thought the DM did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my notes. Okay. I know roughly what it does. Yeah. Give me one second. I know it would be good in this exact situation. Oh, yeah. Or it would rupture this entire uh, room and we would all be jet jettisoned into space. That's kind of a 50 50. <laughs> all right. So 90 by 10. Like that's uh, not the worst thing that's happened to us. 90 yeah. by 10. Uh, 88 <laughs> or uh, 68 bludgeoning damage uh, creates a disturbed area. Okay. Uh, so at that point, <laughs> let me go ahead and measure this out real quick. I know it's, I know 90. So here we go. Uh, bo, bo, bo. let's see, uh, oh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 85. So at that point, uh, Tremor, you'll kind of clap your hands almost, uh, full metal alchemist style, best, the best way to do it as 
seismic energy just begins to surround uh, your hand. You then slam it against the floor, and as it does so, the entire area ruptures uh, in, 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 in that moment. I need to go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw for this creature. Well, bam. Uh, fortunately, these giant machinery is not, it is, is definitely not that. So, rolling the dexterity save, what is your DC? Uh, I believe it's... <laughs> not, not three. So, I... Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a 68, please. 68. Or... All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you deal 22 points of damage to the creature. Uh, and the area in this area right now is considered difficult terrain as the entire metallic floor ruptures around it. Uh, and yeah, he just kind of like jostles. Uh, it it kind of like it kind of like sh shakes in uh, around a little bit as its feet begin to have a troubling time to stay within the area. Uh, I'm just going to do okay. an arcana check to determine what this thing is of capable course. of. Um, a 15 is insufficient. Okay. Welcome to the club, man. <laughs> uh, I'll step back to here, and I'm gonna whistle and call in my uh, undead compatriot. Of course you will. Okay. Uh, at this point in time, uh -oh. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and make sure. Let me get the token for that. Yep. Uh, at this this point in time, you will hear Rah! from this door uh, as handsome. Now, more pale, rushes in like a shuffling zombie. Are you fucking kidding me, oh. model? <laughs> how, did, how is he not dead? I thought we killed that Holy guy. Fuck. Yeah, we're, we're dead. We, I'll, we're dead. I'll we command him to say that, hi right? to you guys. Did we ever get paid for that? <laughs> no, we never got paid. We haven't been back to the fucking the art school yet, mate. Um, you will see Handsome uh, awkwardly wave uh, as its hand, like, crackles like 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 branches and it just gives a no you think he recognizes you maybe <laughs> all right and at the end of the round what would you like uh your formerly handsome to do uh he'll just guard me he'll be okay on here all right yeah Okay, so he just kind of like shuffles a little bit to defend you at that point in time uh all right so with that your round ends unless you like to move Nope. Okay. Uh, Gideon and Cheezel, uh, your round is next. Thought it was Cheezel. Uh, or Cheezel, excuse me. It says Cheezel there. Thank so you I keep for that. remembering and respecting my character choices, unlike <laughs> certain <laughs> of course. DMs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, my character. yeah, uh, Gideon, what would you do? And then Cheezel, also think about what you would do during this time. Uh, I think I would just come out, step out right here-ish, and mm -hmm. I would just throw a big old lightning bolt towards this giant thing. Uh, okay. Uh, Actually, that... I'll, hold on, hold on, Retcon. Can I Can I do my Arcana check to check for HP first? Yes, you can. Thank you. I rolled an 18 plus six because I have familial bond, so 24. Okay. Um, is uh, your roll, is your D&D Beyond not working? Oh, my bad. I did that. Yeah, I, I don't know why I did that acoustic. I should not have used my acoustic dice. Let me do it in dndbeyond.com. Oh, yeah, you, you've... Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. Much worse. <laughs> yeah, okay. sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, you... Uh, that's no, fine. it's all good. Uh, so the 13, which I have to take, is insufficient. Yes. Uh, then I will go ahead and still throw a lightning bolt at his head. Okay. Uh, dex 15 save. All right. He tries to once again dash dodge within it. Uh, the rocky floor makes it so that he's unable to. It, it is unable to do so. Uh, and with a magic missile that's, lightning, that's I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm right kidding. Button. That's not the right button. Hold <laughs> what on. Are you, I'm, what are you doing? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You're I'm good. just really pissed that you disrespected Chizo. Okay. okay. Damn <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. About damn time. Um. So as the electricity begins to crackle around, um, it's gonna do the following. Uh, you will see, uh, as the area around this robot sort of ripples as if it had some sort of, uh, almost as if it's simulating like the, the shield spell, but definitely something very different, very foreign. Uh, at that point in time, um, as the electricity begins to crackle around it, the shield around it, the bubble becomes visible and then it just fizzles out like steam. The lightning seems to have done something additional. 
uh, along with the damage. So uh, it will take 30 points of damage. Is it something bad additional? Uh, no, as something positive additional. What's the matter with you? Wait. On his positive for him. Okay. Yeah, positive for him. Yes, that is correct. Um, all right. Do you move at all, Gideon? Wait, positive for him, me being him, or positive for this no, robot? Positive for <laughs> the party. Positive, positive for, the for Gideon. Positive oh, for oh, positive for Gideon. Oh, oh, oh my God. God! Is it a good thing <laughs> or a bad thing? It's a good hey, thing. On, That's man. what I said. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> You I'm guys. Not even, I don't even want to finish my turn. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> right. toxic over here. All right, Chiselle, it is your uh, Chiselle. What do you do? Yeah, uh, Chiselle turns to the group and is like, "Who are these people? What's going on?" I don't know. We know them. We'll deal with them once these big guys are dead, because they definitely want to kill us now. Them, I don't know. Very yeah. well. I should defend you as you attempt to make your way through the door. Uh. I'm gonna use my extra movement because I'm a badass. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And we're gonna go right to here. Okay. Oh damn. There goes our tank. <laughs> there goes, there goes our hero. Hero. Every single time she just tanked something though, he gets the shit kicked out of him so fast <laughs> it's never his fault. Uh does that uh, end? He doesn't rage. That's uh she's she's L, does that end your round? Uh yeah. No, that ends my round. I'm going to stay here and I can't attack because I just use my extra movement, right? Of so. course. That is correct. I'm uh, good. Uh, Pikel and Zahani, it is your turn. Pikel, what do you do? And Zahani, begin to plan your next move. Okay. Are we trying to attack the one on the right, I guess? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. That's what I said. You guys are your own people, though. I will do. I will try to do a guiding bolt oh my on God. the right. At. Level three. I've what? just. Uh, that strikes. It strikes through against spell. the She's creature. In like five <laughs> seconds. Literally in like six rounds. Oh, really? No joke. That, wasn't yes. that what we used to do with the other she characters as well? She missed every single spell Probably. in the boss fight. We I had have last the worst time. luck. Yeah. Every <laughs> single <laughs> one. Somewhere out there, there's an rough. anti. -you. Oh, damn. It hits every hit. Uh, ready at damage strikes against the creature. Um, as. Okay, so as your guiding bolt strikes mm -hmm. against this individual uh you mm -hmm. will see the same ripple effect uh like a shield forms around it uh absorbing the impact of the radiant bolt the creature mm -hmm. takes no damage oh, oh this is game. hey i mean round seven like, does, no does, damage does, output can i get a round seven <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> question does it still in, impose the the uh the advantage brett Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. the effect. Okay, yes, good. it does. Uh, so whoever attacks that one next gets advantage. The yeah. shield visible, you will actually see become weakened by the hit of the radiant bolt um, as it becomes a little more dim. So that means I reckon lightning damage just automatically disables that shield or greatly weakens it. Maybe. You are free to come to any conclusion spell. you wish. That, he's yeah. saying yes, is what he was saying. <laughs> Isn't that right, Brett? I look over to Brett at the DM. A little the raccoon closer. there in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Uh, you will see Clarence stare off into the corner, uh, talking oh, right. to a mysterious individual named okay. Brett. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so, Pikel, uh, you strike that. You still have a movement action left. Uh, you're free to move now uh, or take a bonus action or end your turn. And while you're doing so, Zahani, what are you doing? I am going to arc on a check. It's hell. Okay. Go ahead and do that Arcana check. With a That's 20. Boy. With a 20, you were able to decipher the creature's health. Oh. Okay. No, oh, not so bad. All right. And then what do you do next, Sahani? You have an action going, and bonus is, action. Is this purple effect like a consistent thing? I forget. Uh, it is. The floor itself has been completely ruptured at this point. So I can't walk on that. You can. It would be double movement. Okay, then that's fine. Um, okay. What is my movement? Also, Shane, you sound a little quiet on mic, just FYI. Do I? Oh, because I turned it down for fucking no, the game we played. No, you're good. I'll just move a little closer. He's right just now, shy. Turn it up. He's yeah, just shy. It. Um, so, hold up. This is five feet, 15, 25. That's as far as I can move, which is perfect. I'm going to polymorph into giant monkey. Okay. So at that point, <laughs> you will just see... You will just see Zahani begin to change shape uh, into a giant monkey. albino ape. What's going on? Oh my! Oh. 
What the shit? They're even weirder than last time. Oh, they're so <laughs> weird. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> What's the matter with them? All right. As an ape, uh, you have a movement action remaining. Or you could continue your move. Well, no, you moved and did that. That's right. Um, You, I believe that's it, correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, so next up, uh, Pikel, you did your move, I saw. Uh, Skagzag and Al. Um, Skagzag, I will have you go first. And All Al, right. begin to plan what you'd like to do. I got it. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see here. Uh, 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 can I uh, buy a vowel? Yes. E. All right. <laughs> that will be your action. Is there anything? No, I'm kidding. I'm going to do my <laughs> snowball attack. Okay. Yeah. All right. right, and what are you aiming at? Uh, I'm aiming it right at the, uh, the robot, man. All right, which one? Left Wait, or right? Didn't we learn last time you have way better attacks than a damn snowball? His ballista is really strong, yeah, but only I mean, when it hits. I just let Skagzak do his thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling like, I I feel yeah, like we're in a pretty good spot right now. <laughs> yeah, I whatever. just need to do That's his big cool. move. I don't mind almost dying again. It's fine. Uh, the one. <laughs> you really are the one who gets punished first when we fuck up. <laughs> Uh, it is cool. I don't mind. It's uh, fine. All right. Uh, so go ahead and do your snowball attack with a 13. Uh, your saving throw is a 15. Okay. And I, uh, I use uh, lucky and reroll it. I don't believe you can reroll damage effects. Doesn't Krendor get like some meta magic thing that lets him like boost his what damage? About, uh, sorcery? Uh, oh, yeah. What about sorcery points? Uh, yeah, you get empowered, um, which allows you to reroll... Uh, let me go ahead and yep. You, I believe it allows you to re-roll some spells. Wait, hold on. What's going on? Yeah, it allows you to re-roll spells. So, uh, so, spell damage, but you have to take the 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 higher amount. One second. All right. Uh, empowered. I can re-roll that for you as well. Um, so you, when you empower a spell, um, you can spend one search point to reroll a number of the damage dice up to your charisma modifier. Uh, what is your charisma modifier currently? Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's the plus, plus number. Four. Oh, oh nice. plus Jesus. four. Okay, so you, you can, can reroll re up four to... Of those dice. You can reroll four of those dice if you wish. Uh, you have re you have rolled a two, a two, a three, and a five. All and right, a one, roll, and a one. Uh, I'll... All of them that aren't five. Okay. All right. So two, two, three, and one. Uh, so that's two, two, four, three, one. Uh, okay. So we're subtracting the eight from that. We're taking the five. I'm rolling a four D six, correct? Carry the one. Okay. Uh, oh, you I'm have. Cool. All right. So you're oh, dealing an additional 16 points of damage oh. along with the five. Your 13 has become a 21 with the empowered ability. Oh, my and God. I need <laughs> you to roll uh, two oh, yeah, right. uh, wild magic rolls, please. Pew, pew. Uh, unfortunately, he does manage to dodge out of the way, uh, so he will take half damage instead. Three right. and eight are your rolls. Do you move at all? Uh, yeah, I'm going to move Okay. right here. As you move, gonna... Al, what is your action? And what else are you doing? Uh, I want to have a look at him. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll that. Uh, what would you like to know with the 17? I want to know his health. See if it's uh, any different than the other one. Okay. Bring. Uh, also, a wild magic effect goes off before he moves. <laughs> oh, boy. All Stay the hell right. away from me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, the following happens. Uh, grease spills off of... Nope, that's not it. Grease spills off of Skagzag. Oh. Skagzag like is sweaty wet. today. It's fucking it's, disgusting. He's just like start sweating either. grease that just starts <laughs> oh, pouring out of his pores. every fucking time with him. <laughs> oh. How much grease? <laughs> I'm about to tell you. Oh. Uh, this much. Uh, I need... <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, I, uh, at this point, I will request that... Um, <laughs> Skagzag, uh, model, 
And Clarent roll dexterity saving throws. Bazingus, okay. dude. All right. Um. Nothing bad ever use... happens to Clarent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dex saving. Yep, it is not an evasion based roll. Okay. Uh, immediately, uh, model falls prone from the grease <laughs> underneath his feet. Okay. Fucking hell, Scat! <laughs> Face first in it. <laughs> and Skagzag, I, uh... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Um, Skagzag, you're good. You're immune to this grease effect. <laughs> because it's your wild magic. It's your Why grease. Why do you seem to be doing fine, Skag? It's coming out. It's <laughs> gushing full. Uh, I can't help the grease. Uh, now Take covered with it. Now covered in grease, he runs off to the corner. Uh, Al, what do you do? Uh, can I use my arcana check to see if it's like... What this lightning effect was. Okay. Is like vulnerable to it? Uh, sure thing. Uh, yeah. uh, Arcana check 16. I'll allow that. Um, so the things that you can learn about is damage immunities, condition immunities, uh, and it's shield. Yeah, go damage immunities. Okay. It is immune to poison. Also, by mentioning, if I don't say anything about vulnerabilities, it, that simply is it doesn't have any. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention vulnerabilities, then, just the, uh, I did okay. not. I did not mention vulnerabilities. Um, so that is correct. Okay. It didn't. I don't know why I absorbed the radiant damage. Okay. Then I am going to cast black tentacles, mm. which is a twenty-foot square, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to alter it. He's going to take out his, his spell book and it's going to alter the uh, black tentacles to become lightning tentacles by taking the power from Storm Sphere. Ooh. So at that point in time, you will see an electric surge of tentacles begin to flow out at that point in time. Uh, let me go ahead and look real quick. Yes, if he starts his turn there. Okay, go um, ahead. Go ahead and um, that also includes... Oh, so it said when a creature's uh, affected area uh, for the first time. All right, yep. Or Let's starts his turn save. there. Yep, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, he takes 3d6 lightning damage now instead of that's, punching. That's perfect. Uh, you have a move and bonus action available. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring my head in here. So I'm just going to move my head so it's closer. <laughs> okay. Um, bring it in. Go, uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, I'll be up to that. Goblins, you see a floating head appear into this room. Oh, uh, that's so uh, weird. Of the same individual. Uh, oh. And then uh, I, I actually think I'm just going to stay where I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems safe. Okay. So at the end of Al's round, the the, uh, the constructs begin to go. We'll start with this one of the tentacles who has to immediately make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, what is your DC typically, Al? Uh, good question, actually. My DC is a 16. All right, so it fails at that point in time. It is restrained by the tentacles until the spells end. The creature that starts his turn in the area and is already restrained will just take 3d6 flat out. Um, 11 lightning real. damage. Yep, so as the electric tentacles begin to zap around the individual uh, the individual robot, you will see the electricity continue to surge up. Uh, it turns I'm over. Right. It turns over uh, at this point to the monkey, pointing the giant strange pipe uh, and it illuminates with a sparkling radiant glow before firing a blast, much like the guiding bolt that you saw uh, Pikel cast. Uh, 16 to break uh, Ape's armor class. Yes. Uh, which I believe it does. <laughs> you just shoot the monkey with a laser? Absolutely did. Oh. Monkey, I need you to make a concentration check as you take eight points of damage. Uh, constitution oh. saving throw, please. Uh, this is considered restraint. And then you're good. You're still there. Uh, and this one will go ahead. You're still there. You're, you're still not dissolved there. by the laser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and at this one will uh, hold up its other hand. Its fingers kind of spread out a little bit, like unnaturally so, as you see an illuminated radiance kind of flush around the hand uh, as it looks to be an energy axe blade. Uh, as this being will go ahead and attack, uh, will attack Chizel with it. Oh, Jesus dead again. 
Uh, 12 to break armor class, which I don't believe it does. The 24 nope. will, will hit, uh, dealing six points of radiant damage. Man, these guys are sort of little shits, huh? Yeah. Uh, model is your turn. Oh, Brett, just before you do, uh, that's a 20 foot radius square, not, uh, it's meant oh. to be square, it's meant to be smaller than that. Oh, like it is meant to be a square? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. It's not radius. Okay. If they're thinking of even radius, it's just a 20 foot square. Oh, it's a, so it's just but, a dia diameter. Okay. Yeah. Whoop. So, it, uh, uh, yeah. There you, go. there you go. Uh, okay. At this point in time, uh, model is your turn. Okay, Brett. Two Covered questions. in grease. Yes. Covered in grease on my back. Yes. Yet again. Yes. Um, so, 80 foot. What's the range on draw again? On draw? Um, 60 feet. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, will I incur disadvantage if I stay on my back on the ground with a bow? Uh, and shoot with a bow? No, you will not. <sighs> I'm just going to lie on my back and shoot my bow like this. Like, I'm going to hold it with my feet and pull it back with my hands and then <laughs> okay. shoot as hard as I can That's straight for its sick. eyeball. Do mm -hmm. I get advantage from Guiding Ball or did we use that already? Uh, we have not used it. I don't Ooh. Think. Yeah. Actually, okay, and wait. has it gone in the turn order yet? Uh, oh. it, has, it has gone in the turn order. That is correct. Okay. All right, so it's not... I don't get assassinate. Mm -hmm. All right. But I would get sneak attack because of Cheezle and advantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, the what would the advantage be for? Is Guiding already. Bolt. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, that is correct. Bolt was the last thing that hit it. So. Yep. Yeah. Then you will get advantage. Lucky day. Ooh. Uh, a twenty-four will hit, or a twenty-six will hit, oh uh, dealing uh, twenty-one points of piercing damage. Yo. Acid That's bath. Uh, yep. As the acid begins to splash across from the uh, the arrow, the five works. It will also take the two points of acid damage. Hell Not yeah. Mad. Yeah. And I guess I'll try and slowly get up like a baby gazelle. Am I good? Uh, yep, you're good. You can spend you half your four legs. What? <laughs> <laughs> you can like spend a freshly the born ice. gazelle with mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, you know, you gotta be sturdy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, um, <laughs> no. The area is considered Yeah, the area is considered difficult terrain as the grease is soaked across the floor. Uh, yeah, I feel like a teenager again. Uh, would you like to move? No, that's my turn. All right. Since the round has ended, you must make another dexterity saving throw as the floor is still greasy. Oh. <laughs> this is meant to be my forte. Me too, right? Uh, <laughs> you're good. You're good. As you stand oh, up I'm and good. you end your turn, you kind of like slip a little bit, uh, but you manage to hold on to your ground. Oh. Right, am I making one too? What am I doing? Uh, well, still well, so since you've success succeeded on your dexterity saving throw, you are good, but you have learned okay. that. I, I didn't know if I had to like take more checks if I nope. remained in it. Only if you end your turn within the okay, grace. Okay, okay. So now it is Clurt and Tremor's turn. Uh, we'll start with Clurt. Tremor, begin planning your next action. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna move up towards Pikel to get out of the grease, the dirty mm -hmm. grease that Skagzak <laughs> left oh, all over the hallway. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, um... <laughs> I'm gonna do the one thing that we haven't done yet on this robot. I'm gonna Cosma draw this motherfucker. Okay, are you within I'm 60 give feet? Him the draw. Uh, just checking you're within 60 feet, correct? Uh, well, I can definitely move into 60 feet. So. Yeah, go ahead, move. Okay, perfect. Uh, so with the 24, you begin to to draw the data uh, from within the area. Uh, what are you attempting to do, Clarence? Can I see you, like this is a robot. This is like an automaton. I'm seeing if I can mm -hmm. turn anything off. Like we can we can do a lot of stuff with this thing. Let me see if I can like disable something. It's got like a shield that's been like that looks looks like it was like a shield mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see uh, if I can turn off something to help Cheezle up there. All right. So with a 24, uh, you may disable one of the effects. Uh, you can disable its shields, uh, which the draw will inform you that it makes it immune to radiant damage. Uh, if it takes a radiant hit, it becomes resistant to radiant damage. If it takes a second radiant hit at that point, it disables the shield. It can spend its bonus action to reactivate these shields. But more importantly, by disabling these shields, uh, its AC will drop by two in its entirety. Um, the Cosmic Draw will disable the effect for one round, and it will be unable to turn that uh, effect back on with the bonus action, essentially, during that round. You may also disable its uh, Neuron Axe attack or its Laser Pistol, so one of the three. 
Uh, well, I mean, Chisel's fine up there right now, I would say. That's how he always dies, though, as we say he's fine. And mm -hmm. dies. Uh, I'd like to turn him off, Brett. You skipped one. You skipped the power button that I can see right here in Cosmo mode. I'm going to turn off the robot. Thanks. Well, uh, unfortunately, there's a bunch of fail safes within the facility. Uh, whatever, so. I'll turn off the big <laughs> shield. Then. I think that's the best move here, gang. All right, you have disabled this shield with the round with the Cosmo Draw ability. As you hack within the system, the shield immediately becomes disabled. Uh, you still have an action, bonus action, and move action remaining. Yes, uh, I will. Or remaining move uh, rather. I'm gonna I'm gonna shimmy over this way just so I'm against the wall. I don't want to mm -hmm. be in the middle since he has a weird laser for a hand. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> then I'm going to cast a entry level shatter level two baby okay. these guys are little shits i'm not giving them my good spells screw that uh okay uh with a 23 it'll take Man, five points of do. damage from the shattering sound <laughs> <laughs> you'll see you'll hear the ripple on the, the the metallic exterior of the machine as it takes a, a little bit of damage uh tremor what do you do tremor is going to Walk up a little bit, go on one, two, three, four. Yeah, fine. You know, yeah, I'll go like around here. Is this a wall or is this a... That's a wall. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I can see like around there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll stand under the monkey. Uh, I'm gonna try to deduce oh. if this robot has a soul. <laughs> um, it does not. Oh, that's too um, bad. But you can go ahead and ask another question from the list. Uh, okay. The list being, uh, you know, it's damage immunities. Uh, you can ask about conditional immunities. It's or it's for roaring shields or anything more meta. I want more meta. Uh, okay, so that could be like stats, AC, things of that nature. Mm. Um, I want to know if it has what similarities it has to inevitable. Uh, okay. Uh, so with that, uh, you will know that it is made of the same <laughs> same construction as the inevitable, that this is definitely a, 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 being an Auroran station, an Auroran style machine. Uh, its material and makeup is, is the same as the inevitable, which definitely solidifies the fact that uh, <laughs> uh, the inevitable is of Auroran design. Gotcha. And do we know how electricity affects it yet? Uh, you do not. You, okay. wit you witnessed that electricity seemed to do something with the shields. Gotcha. Um, in that case, let's see. I'm going to move 20 feet. Uh, I'm going to hit him with... You know what? I'm going to howl at the moon. Oh! <laughs> you just see uh, Tremor at this point howling as it echoes down the hallway of goblins. What a weirdo. Why are, they so, why are they such freaks over there? <laughs> why did you have to do the how move, dude? Not in front of new people. <laughs> That's really strong. That's really, uh, all right. And then I'm going to move uh, good old handsome. Five, ten. I'll go nice. one more. Yeah. Yeah. God, I hope that robot kills that guy. The goblin. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna oh. make direct eye contact with any of the goblins that he can see down the line. <laughs> okay. Um, with your actions complete, that ends your round. Next up, uh, Cheezel and Gideon. Uh, uh, Gideon, we'll start with you. And Cheezel, start playing your next round. Okay, I'm gonna move here 5, 10, 15. I'm gonna, I wanna share a space with Owl's head. You can do that. Can I do that? Yes, you yeah, can. You can actually, yeah. All right, nice. Um, <laughs> ah, I see inside of you. <laughs> uh, is there gears? Is there clocks? I've always wanted to know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna the cast little man right. piloting you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for scorching ray towards okay. the big boy robot. Sounds good. Uh, a nine is a miss. Oh, well, uh, I'm having a good time. And... Uh, you may attack two more times with the Scorching Ray. Uh, yeah, okay, I will. All right, will are you do doing that. anything else after the Scorching Ray? I was considering using Chronal Shift to, to redo that Scorching Ray, but I'm just going to go ahead and pay a pow pow. Okay, do a pow pow. Uh, roll the damage on Scorching Ray. I will apply it to the creature. Uh, and uh, yeah, Chisel, what are you doing? Uh, you can I do a Cosmo Draw from... and do the exact same thing that uh, Clark did? Uh, yes, you can. Mmm, lovely. 
Uh, with a 27, you may disable its axe or its laser pistol ability. Uh, axe, please. <laughs> uh, you will see the neuron axe as it begins to like, as it begins to visibly disappear at that point. Yeah. All right. Um. And she said, we'll say, how about you, fiend? And I will slash with my sword. Okay. A 24 will hit. Gotta name that sword one of these days something. I, yeah, as you will then see the sword, uh, uh, a sword, uh, a spectral sword manifest itself uh, near the construct. Uh, it takes 11 points of damage. Uh, you may and I go attack on. again because I can. <laughs> yeah. You can actually attack twice because now you have the uh, the sword. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't mean that extra click. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. No worries. Uh, go ahead and attack again. All right. A 19 will hit. Dude, Cheezel does so much damage when he's not being eaten. <laughs> All right. And I believe that ends everybody's round. Uh, like I mentioned, you hear scorching sound from the behind as the scorching ray will impact and go off. Uh, all right. Uh, next up is Zahani and Pikel. Uh, Pikel, I will have you go first. And then Zahani, okay. go ahead and plan your next move. So the shield is down now, so hypothetically I could shield do more is damage. down hypothetically round eight. It's Let's time. go, baby. Let's <laughs> go. With a critical oh, 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 hit. Oh. <laughs> I mean that's all right. Oh, oh shit. No. Yeah. Uh, you just see this 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 charged up guiding bolt of radiant energy, almost as if it's a giant laser cannon of its own, blast out of Pikel, uh, causing massive damage to the construct as it just surges through the unguarded uh, the unguarded uh, automatron. Hell yeah, yeah. Pikel! You feel very good. It only took. The last two <laughs> days of constant battle. <laughs> so please not talk about that. Uh, Pikel, you are able to move at this point in time. Zahani, um, what are you doing? Zahani, do something greater than what she just did. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to move closer. It's absolutely but nice. As soon as I get to here, I'm going to put my finger forward and touch this electric tentacle, and I'm not going <laughs> to... Yeah, it definitely, <laughs> you, you feel the, the zap. Ow. Is there, like, any debris around that I could throw in this place? Uh, like I a, would. A I'm gonna say because of the torn up metal from the seismic area, uh, you can actually okay. rip off a floor paneling and use that as a throw action with your. And I'm gonna do a throw rock move. Um, okay. What's the range you... on Howl? Am I in range of that? So I get advantage. Uh, yes, you are. You are still within okay. five feet. So yes, you do. Uh, Twenty eight will hit the creature. Uh, you chuck the metal bludgeoning piece yes. over here, and it smacks the head of the creature itself. Uh, 27 bludgeoning damage. You see the head kind of jerk back. Uh, at this both at this point in time, both automatrons taking massive amounts of damage from both parties. Uh, Skagzag and Al's turn. Al, I'll have you go first. Skagzag, begin to plan your next move. Uh, cut plan, it now. We gotta dude. kill this thing first. Quick point for you guys. It's uh, 10 feet of advantage because I cast it at third level. So yeah, it was five feet. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um. Yeah, uh, hey, are there private one. chats? Hmm? What? Do we have do we have private chats for just like say the goblins? Like let's say I wanted to ask the goblins yeah. a question. There's literally not, a goblin you know from we've IO. Had a Discord room. Yeah. <laughs> But everyone's like in the thing. There's there 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 is it. No, there there is a group oh, chat he's and then he's still a lot of shit about you guys right now. Yeah. 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 Uh all right. So uh, at that point in time, Al, you will then uh, move up and approach uh, from the construct uh, itself. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do, go ahead and do it. Just a standard second level scorching ray. Okay. And is there any but other? I'm action? gonna make it lightning. Oh, is there any other actions they're gonna take uh, after that? Um, I'll move my head close. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll to see if you do the attacks, uh, and if you, Wait, I will let you know how many you hit. Yep. That's and while you're doing that, Skagzag, what are you doing? I'm dancing, dude. Okay. Uh, <laughs> two, three. Let's see. Uh, you will hit with all three. You can roll all three damage. Nice. <laughs> total. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Skagzek, what are you doing? 
I'm going to do a third level catapult. Mm -hmm. What are and you catapulting? I'm going to catapult one of my, uh, what was I using last time? Caltrops. Mm -hmm. So. All right, go ahead and cast yeah. it. I will roll the dexterity saving throw for the creature. All right, all right, uh, with a 14, I believe that is a miss for you. We're going to find out. Okay, so with 22 points of bludgeoning damage, uh, you don't know your... Do you know your DC off the top of your head? DC. Uh, Marvel? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> DC 15 dexterity with a 14. Uh, that will hit with the Caltrop, uh, making a bullet impact into the unguarded creature, taking 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, you are free to make a move action at this time and also roll a d20 with your wild magic roll. Uh, it is at this point, uh, your construct, uh, Academy, uh, will immediately take, is it 3d6 or 3d8? Yeah, 3d6. Okay. Will immediately take nine points of damage. Um, I believe it gets a dexterity check at the end to see yep. if it breaks out of it. Okay, perfect. It's start of his turn. Start of his turn, I think. Oh, start of his turn it does? Okay, I can do that. Double check. Might oh, be... I have to use his action to make a strength or dexterity check. Ooh, very good. Very good. Uh, 16. Uh, Okay, uh, at that point, it will stay suspended in the area. It will look back at the monkey once again uh, and blast twice with its laser pistol. <laughs> with a 23 to hit, uh, it will deal 12 points of radiant damage to the monkey. Uh, and I need Zahani to go ahead and make a concentration saving throw. Meanwhile, the other construct with sword, uh, with sword disabled or weapon disabled and shields down, uh, it will attempt to blast its pistol over at the thing that caused the most damage. Uh, this will be at a disadvantage because it is the within thing. melee with something. Yep, the thing over there, riding the other thing. <laughs> Uh, at a disadvantage, uh, will not break your armor class at this point, Pikel. As you see, its laser pistols just blast out ahead. Uh, it misses, uh, kind of like zapping and singeing the floor over there. Uh, what? Wo once again, uh, top of the round, Clurnt, it is going to be your round, Tremor to follow. What about model? Uh, oh, yeah, model. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, model, it's is your it turn. Is it because I'm in the grease? Is it because I'm still in the grease, bro? It's, it's because, because you've got no partner. It's, it's because, because you're in the grease. grease. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm all uh, alone in the I, grease. I was like, man, that was really quick. Uh, model, it is your turn. Uh, model's going to lie back down in the grease. Because okay. it worked before. Okay. And he's going to do the same thing with his bow. Uh, okay. You aim and fire. I think you get advantage again because guiding bolt, right? That is correct. Uh, 16 will strike at the creature. Hell yeah. Making impact through the head. Uh, go ahead and roll the d6 for the acid splash. Uh, uh, you will just see this thing shake and jostle before uh, it will just immediately shut down from the impact to the damage. Uh, at that point, you will also take one point of acid damage as the acid splashes back from the bow upon yourself, creating even oh, more fuck. mottled skin. Oh, greasy acid, fuck! <laughs> uh, uh, and then at that top of the round, uh, Clarent, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to silently also uh, model. You're free to, to move. Myself, acknowledging that we defeated our robot before the other side, and then I'm gonna turn around. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna sort of walk over here. Mm-hmm. And so I just, I, I'm not going over the grease, dude. This is a nice fucking dividing <laughs> line right now between our parties. And honestly, I don't know what the fuck's going on over there or why they're even here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just going to sort of kick back, look at model lathered in grease on the ground, sort of rolling there. I'm going to mm -hmm. nod and just sort of hang out. This oh. is, I'm not going to clear this distance to help <laughs> us real far. So um, nice job, everyone. Model, do you move out of the grease or do you not? No, he's he's just lying on his back, slowly sliding. I, is this ground perfectly level, Brett? Uh yes, it is. Oh, fuck. All right, I guess I'm I'm not sliding, but I'm I'm just <laughs> lying, kind of still. Okay. Like oh, uh, model, don't forget, you technically have temp HP from me, so. How much? Uh, like twelve. Yeah, it was okay. twelve. You can write it next to your HP. Your yeah, I got it. Uh, okay. Twelve temp HP. That's huge. Yeah, for the whole team. That's pretty good. Bring. All right, you can go and put your hit points back to max. Uh, at that point, uh, yeah, Trimmer, what are you doing? Uh, finishing off this asshole. Um, okay. 
What is this blue stuff, Joe? That's the Don't walk in it. What if I want to? <laughs> you get shocked. <laughs> it's tentacles of lightning. Well, that's not helpful. Um, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it literally right. kept him in place for the last two rounds. I'm gonna, yeah, but well, we had uh, whatever. I I shove my zombie out of the way, and then I cast a uh, astral shuffle. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not gonna waste another fucking spell slot on this asshole. Uh, any saves need to be made, or is it an attack roll? I forgot that. Uh, it's an attack roll. Okay. Um, uh, 18. You're able to roll again because you're hell. Perfect. Uh, the 18 will hit. All right, that will be. God, why does this? Okay, here we go. Uh, with twelve points of damage shuffled no. around. Um, All right, fuck it. I throw the zombie in. <laughs> zombie. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell's the going on over there? Uh, the zombie itself making the strike and impact stumbling within the electricity. Uh, let me yeah. go ahead and make a quick roll really fast to yeah. see if... Is it a dexterity check uh, saving throw? Yeah. Dexterity oh, saving throw. Right. It wouldn't be able to get in range. Immediately nice. becomes restrained <laughs> at that point in time as it shuffles in the electrical tentacles. will zap around the zombie, yeah. squeezing it tight. Uh, zombie takes 12 points of damage. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I told go. you not to do it. Hell, stop this killing my zombie. My <laughs> no, no, no. Let him die. Uh, Gideon, what would you do to, to finish this creature uh, off? Uh, over here, because I remember the Howling Wolves finally. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Glacial Decay. Okay. Uh, if you, you hit, uh, yep, you'll have an advantage. If you hit with Glacial Decay, is it attack roll or do I have to make a save? Attack roll. Okay, a 10 will miss, unfortunately, oh at that God. point in time as the glacial decay begins uh, to go off. Cheezel, what guys, are you doing? You seeing this? I'm pointing over at them now. <laughs> the clown group um, over there. Yeah, Cheezel, what are show. you doing? So our guy is like done, yeah? A dead, dead. That is yeah, correct. Dead. Um, The distance, uh, there's no way I can get to the other group. They're so far away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I, I loot like this? Can I? Yeah, Chizel will tr attempt to, to rip open and find something inside to loot if possible. Uh, okay, so at that point in time, uh, you will see Chizel begin to dig with it. Chizel begin to spend their uh, full round action digging into the creature. Full and uh, complete round. Nothing else. No yep. help at all. Yep. Uh, Zahani, what do you do? Ruck. Rock, you th once again throw a rock at advantage. Uh, if you hit, which you do, uh, you strike with a massive Boom. blow. Its head spill, it just breaks off immediately off this this beast as it just uh, immediately just as you hear just the sound of junk crashing on the floor. Uh, I do the shrug emote that Donkey Kong doesn't smash. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, at this point, uh, technically, the combat ha will have ended. Uh, do you dismiss your tentacles, Al, or do you keep them there? Yes, I'll keep. The I'll get rid of the tentacles. <laughs> the grease also subsides within the floor, although Damn, uh, Skagzag. Uh, I, although Sk <laughs> Skagzag will also appear greasy at this point. Hell yeah! <laughs> Skagzag is visibly greasy for the remainder of the session. This guy, Zag is always greasy. He's never taken a shower. He's been greased like multiple times in this fucking campaign. I'm guessing it's always stayed that way. Mm -hmm. uh, one I, uh, second. I'm, I'm going to step away. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll leave it unmuted as well. So be right back. We got his food. Food's here. Food's here. Food's here. Food's here. I'm not Fun. surprised. <laughs> so dumb. He's always doing this. Food's done. <laughs> it's not even what the line is. Same. Work, work. Food's done. It's not even the line. <laughs> well, they're not going to say food's done. Right, because that'd be stupid. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's the point of the joke. Do you think we can loot this axe? Can I rip this? Can I use this axe? I think it's like powered by say. electricity. Yeah. Yeah, but I, what if I, I like rip out the power cell and then use the axe? I'm back. Uh, cold food, baby. Let's go. Um, all right. So, is with there anything that, I can loot from this guy? Can uh, I as take his axe? As you tear within the the uh, the creature, you're really uncertain of anything that of what you're looking at. You're free to make the intelligence save. Well, now I'm gonna say <laughs> Chizel. No, I'm gonna say Chizel does not know what the heck they're looking at as well, he begins well, just well, tearing well, into well, that. Later, <laughs> 
okay all right. only only because the technology is literally so advanced it would be ridiculous to be like ah yes not a matron of this nation shall provide an excellent laser pistol yeah, you're gonna need at least 13 intellect like me clerk all right <laughs> jesus just leave it to me i have 11 i mean that's not yeah, much I mean, that... it's actually wild that somehow r plus one i have is the best <laughs> however however if you do wish to gather parts i will allow you to take uh um take defender parts if you so wish i do wish i do wish to gather parts all right it's almost like there's a whole party of high intellect wizards that could help you with this <laughs> we're, already no, we're, good. We're, fine. No, we're, we're all right yes, we've already side. built ourselves a car <laughs> we made a yeah, motorcycle no, yeah um, go ahead, and uh, this is going to sound weird, uh, go ahead and make a survival check as if you were chopping this monster for bits, as if it was a beast in the wild. Okay, uh, with a 13, you begin to try and sever the pistol a little bit, try and rip off what you can, as well as a chunk of the hand to see if there's anything you can make of it. Uh, if you grab both parts, let me know. Uh, I'm going to sit. That's going to be very freaking heavy. Jeez. Um, hmm. Are you uh, trying? Let's, let's be real. Yes. I would only take the parts that a gobbly would identify as precious, right? So, that, so... That, the, the hand, I'm assuming, the, the one that the axe is made of. Is that correct? Um, yeah, if I can use it. If it's an axe, I can't use it. I'm not going to take it. I'm not an idiot. Oh, yeah. It's, so, it's, I mean, <laughs> all of this seems unusable as you are unsure how it works, but you're free to take the materials if you so wish. No, I just chop it up. I just okay. chop it up and like, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, I don't. All right. Sound. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. Um. All right. With that, uh, initiative has. I'm looking at everyone. Uh, it, are you in uh, speaking mode or hostile mode? I'm in talking mode. I walked up to. I was gonna help model up. Model. Give me a hand. I think we are too. Okay. Yeah. And we Two will go straight up. Uh, <laughs> we will go ahead and consider this non. Um, what's the word? We're not on high stress, so we're going to go ahead and turn off initiative at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to walk up to Skagzag immediately yeah. <laughs> before they even start. Skag -Zag. Just just as a uh, as yeah. a heads up, this area is still considered disturbed and will mm -hmm. remain that way for the entirety. So <laughs> um, I'm going to start picking through the robot. Yeah, I'm probably as a okay. monkey with monkey brain. I'm probably just going to start like tearing apart the robot. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go Take ahead and give me you some. Two, actually. Matter of fact, everyone just come over here for a second. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and give me some intelligence checks while you're doing that. Or Arcana. Yes, Arcana works. Oh, Arcana Arcana works. Know why he, we don't know why these folks are here. Right? But I <laughs> did leave them an extremely <laughs> friendly letter. All right? So I, so just going into this Skagzag and Cheezo especially, I need you two to be cool. All right? What if we kill them and take their stuff? Yeah, I yes, mean, it's I'm just, very cool. I'd be cool with that. It's just Skagzag. I want you to rein in that psycho side of you. It's good when it comes out, but at hmm. the right time, all right? Why not now? I got a treat now for you if you wait until time. the end. <laughs> uh, I'll wait, but I'm not making any promises. All right. All right, that's good. That's good enough. That's all close. <laughs> even going to bother trying to get out of Skagzag. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd look at Chizel and just see from his body language how he's doing with that. I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be on an adventure with you. Our first adventure together. I always get these fucking real, like, serial killer vibes from Chizel. I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, I don't know, whatever me, you gives, mean. He gives me fucking bad vibes. <laughs> Turn around, start walking. Friendship. <laughs> I'm not going to approach any closer than this. Okay. I'm going to uh, watch from here. Astral Academy, as you begin to tear through the robot, it seems you have as much luck uh, as Chizel did tearing through. You can't make heads nor tails of the uh, technology. Uh, maybe something Duck is on can look at earlier while she's maintaining the inevitable back in the room. Um, but yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, you aren't able to make anything out of the robot. What do you all do after that? I hold the arm like a club. That's all I Come out of your ape form. Uh, uh, well, actually, hold on. Maybe you, you're a muscle. Uh, Good boy. Can you take this robot to duck? Maybe uh, she can make heads or tails of it. Uh, Good uh, do boy. Do I understand this, actually? 
Yeah, you would understand. You understand. Okay. Polymorph lets you keep your your your. Oh, I know that's wild shape. Never mind. Yeah, that's uh, not. Yeah, I'm just a monkey right now. Huh? But you will. You will. Mm, let's see what your. I mean, you have an intelligence score. Dude, how have they uh, not been killed two. by their own monkey at this point? If I mean, you just want to be able to be common. Otherwise, yeah, 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 you're good. you would never be able to. Oh, yeah, no, you're fine. You, you just you... break you guys in half. No, no, you have an intelligence of seven. You completely understand what they're saying. Okay. Oh, you're a good monkey. Then yeah, I yeah. drag it back. Yeah. <laughs> as you drag it over uh, into the... <clears throat> oh, didn't ignore that. As you drag it over into the... Uh, the room, you throw it in there. Uh, Takasan looks slightly panicked before the door closes again. Just a giant ape appears, throws a <laughs> robot. <laughs> oh no, I mean, it's, it, this is an albino ape. I mean, he, I yeah. know the token looks differently, but I, I imagine it's very Zahani in nature, so. Yeah, yeah that, that cursed art we saw. That's how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so go ahead. Uh, at that point, you see the goblins kind of standing over here at a bit of a standstill. Uh, Academy, what are you doing? I can't see anything anymore. What do you mean you can't see anything anymore? Oh, you know why? It's because you... What do you mean you can't see anything anymore? That's weird. As soon as I, like, went towards that door... And oh, you know what? You, oh, I, I know why it is. Okay, you should be able to see now, correct? I can, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, Tremor would approach up to, like, here. Okay. With the... I'll handsome. keep my head a little ahead of us. In tow. I like to hand. Uh, oh. what are you doing here? Like I said, we got your letter. He's gonna pull out the letter. I oh, didn't. I, we, yeah, no. I mean, I'm glad you got the letter. How'd you get my address? Yeah, that's not what we. That's not what we came. We came with um the inevitable. Uh, what? You, you told know, me uh, he's here right now. Wow. Yeah. It is, yeah. Hey, I'm going to take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we ran into the inevitable, he tried to blast a hole through my chest. Uh, Who is the inevitable? Big Robot, you wouldn't have met him. Jeez, oh, that was a Oh, chisel. okay. It's Last a time we ran into you, you burned down our house, so. True, uh, but what? that was only after the inevitable lit Dongo on fire. Well, the inevitable's powered down at the moment, and we just saw oh, some. Oh, he, he can't hear any of this then? No. Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, we right. just watched some weird videos. <laughs> Step back forward again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in our defense with the uh, burning thing, uh, his robots attacked us without any warning. Uh, I can go. I can do a zone of truth on that one. I, I, I will swear on that. He you threw know the first what zone punch. Of truth is. Huh? You know what zone of truth I is? I did cast a zone of truth. No way. Yeah. Who, where, which school did he go to? I I don't know. I, I learned it on the road. I'm in a circus. Well, was. Oh, yeah. We met your manager. What was it? Happy? Oh, yeah. I forgot we had friends. He was a prick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He didn't help much. Yeah, it sounds like him. He does a lot of standing... And uh, I don't think he's ever done it. Yeah, I don't think he's ever done anything. Uh, Look, once. we have a lot of information, and I feel like you guys do too. We can either fight and probably both die, or we Oops. can share that information. I say we start with the sharing, and then we can decide if we fight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys want to not talk in this hallway, though? I feel like, uh, I feel like more of these things are going to be coming. The room down Where here. Where should we go? The room down here, we already cleared, and there's no other. It's sort of a, you know, it's easier to defend from. If Do you mind if I in. double check it? Yeah, sure. And I point towards the south, the room that we were in. All with right. The terminals and stuff. Whoop. Uh, at this point in time, uh, Al, you, the head will go into what appears to be a pristine room. Uh, completely uh, empty. Nothing within it. Yes, it doesn't seem to be some sort of trick. This room is indeed cleared, and nothing's hiding. Okay! okay. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna head on in there then. Come on, guys. Uh, is everyone heading into the room? <laughs> I can barely fit. I'm, I'm guessing I have to squeeze in. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me go ahead. I can grab your tokens, and I'll move you in there now. Let me go ahead and grab them for you. Oop. Is Oop. the monkey trying to get in? Oh, the monkey can get in. 
It's a, it's a squeeze, but the monkey is able to get in. As the monkey's squeezing, I'm going to rub some of the grease on the monkey. Aw. Oh. On its side. Oh. That's very oh. sweet. Oh. And then set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil it, Joe. <laughs> uh, with, uh, with, with grease in tow, uh, monkey, you're able to get in fairly easily. I also grabbed the door, apparently. We see that. monkey. Monkey. <laughs> Monkey's got the door. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk next to Handsome mm -hmm. um, and wrap my arm around his neck and say, Who's this fella then? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Brett, do you want to describe it or should I have put that look and feel like to him? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So as you grab its neck, you just feel cold as this it's cold and dry as Handsome barely responds to your touch. Uh, in fact, the moment you do so, it just goes... <laughs> Just, it just makes a weird grunting noise uh, over oh, towards you. Oh, fucking hell. It stinks. Yeah. I, yeah? It's still dead. Oh, oh he's dead? Oh, oh, it's dead. Right. Fuck nice. hell. Thank God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Nice. 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 All right. Um, double so, finger uh, gun. <laughs> uh, also, Look, model, you are able to uh, have the door be locked so that it cannot open if you wish because of your Cosmodraw ability and how you've linked into it before. On this door? That is correct. Yeah, I mean, I, I can unlock it at will then, right? That is correct. He, he does that. An action. Uh, you'll visibly, you'd be, be able to visibly tell. That is correct. I finger guns at the door and it locks. You just hear. Uh, he was going to look at uh, the one who just locked the door. <laughs> the reason you want that thing locked. Uh, so we don't get followed. We just fought against giant robots. Mm. Is there another way out of here? Uh, we I teleported no in. Yeah. And you guys right. too? Isn't that the way out of here in general in the ground? Oh, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how about we just go in a circle? There's some people here I don't uh, recognize. Uh, how about we just go in a circle Roku. here? Yeah. The, Come good on, everyone. Chance to get Roku. to know each other before we start mm. blasting each other to bits. Fair. So hi hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Clint. Hi Clint. Uh, I hi. Uh, I left the letters. Uh, that. Some of you may have received. A couple were sort of wild cards. I didn't know whose rooms I was in. Uh, I have your journals. I didn't read any of them. I'm just going to like take them out of my bag and throw them on the ground along with their other random <laughs> valuables I may have pilfered during uh, the raid. <laughs> Anything there that I would care about? <laughs> <laughs> well, your, uh, your f some of the glowing crystals that I saw would be Okay. There. He's going to take the phylacteries <laughs> back. <laughs> kind of glaring at you. Look, don't, listen, all right, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. There's a reason for everything. Uh, also, also, Tremor, you will notice that the curse that you have placed upon your journal is no longer there. He's going to kind of smirk. <laughs> we pick this thing up first. Model. <laughs> Model. <laughs> what? He's going to, like, wink at you. Hi. <laughs> not, not the emotion I was trying to get across, but okay. <laughs> oh, well, hello there. <laughs> you alright, mate? <laughs> I got a twitch in my eye. Oh, yeah, I've got lots of twitches, various muscle spasms. It's not nice, is it? Oh, no, no. Brett, I'm moving the head to look out the door. Oh, okay. So just kind of... Introduce yourself. Say I'll, ha I'll have you go over there so you can uh, see what's going on. I'm Skagzag, I Thank hate you. humans. Mm. Hi, Skag Zag. Yeah, that's Hi, the whole story, Skag really. Hi, Skag uh, Zag. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Why do you hate humans? Why oh. wouldn't I hate humans? They're the worst. Here we go. What do you mean? I mean, well. they're the worst out of all the species that exist. Hmm. Look, we're going to be here all day if you send him down this thing. He okay. It's a trick question. For well, Ironically, well. I think I would have had more issue with that yesterday. After what we've learned today, he might actually be onto something. Huh? Yeah. Ah. But that's for after the introductions, I guess. Uh, 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 Chizel. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Chizel. I've just met these fellow gobbies as well. We're on an adventure. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna like sort of whisper over towards Tremor, who would have met Cheezel, yeah. he's having a mental break. Hmm. He's having a real rough time of it. Cool. Yeah. 
So uh, this animal. is fun. Were you named after cheese? Specifically, which one? I'm sorry, what? I can't understand you. This one doesn't uh, speak well. Uh, excuse you. No, I uh, won't. No, what? What? Speak up. I'm speaking. I can't understand. Can anyone understand this one? Tell Not us really. your name. Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Aldous Thalarian. I studied at the Arcane Academy from age 18, uh, well, till 19-ish. <laughs> no, actually only two months. Oh, <laughs> and then I now am studying at the Astral Academy. Um, Can I throw so a scrunched up piece of paper at Aldoris's head? Ah! Did anyone understand what that thing just said? <laughs> oh, so I gotta, like, focus for it. Look, well, I, so let's not do life stories that we're going to be here all day. All right. Um, be more specific. Let's keep, let's keep it specific to like the gibberish. last like, week of details in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them how you know every spell ever made. Yes, I am quite conversed on every spell that you probably could think of. Yes. All right. All right. All right. How many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Um, hmm. I'm gonna look at Move how many fingers he's holding up behind his back. I'm holding four. Well, yeah. <laughs> ah. Good guess. I'm gonna move the head just behind him, and then <laughs> look. Four. Oh my fucking god. He's good. He's pretty good. What did good. he say? I said four. four. <laughs> Gee I can't... whiz. Pickle, can you talk to this creature? In your weird talkie. Why are you named after food? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't named after food, mate. What's your name, friend? Motto. Mmm. Wait, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Unless you got some kind of food in where you're from called Motto. I ain't named after food. Who's the big guy? I feel like we escaped someone here. <laughs> you, as you yeah, look to the giant albino room. ape. Um, I start like pointing to myself and I go, Ooh, eh, oh, 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 eh, oh. Right, right. Can none of them speak the gob's English? I don't think so. Man. Don't go what kind of like allies you. are these? Look, Jesus, not everyone can talk with your gift of, you know, finesse. finesse so yeah. I've noticed. And eloquence. <laughs> okay, right. have some. You gotta, you gotta open your mind to. Uh, well, how will they know that I'm better than them if I don't Folks mention like this guy? I'm a point at Jeez, uh, the gorilla. There has to be peasants for there to be nobles, mate. Mortal, that is why I like you. Truly. Yep. You understand uh, uh, where I'm coming from. Actually, okay, uh, hey, we're, we're, we are nobles. Gideon spits as you say that, Al. Oh, well, most of us. The name is Gideon, and what what is the plan here? Oh, he's going in. That's a lot all of a sudden. I mean, you got anything else you want to tell us? You want us to no, jump we right don't in have this? time for this story Tell him about time. your magic. Come on, tell us a secret about yourself. Come on, it's fun. Yeah, how many fingers whistle. are you holding up behind your back? Gideon looks down at his hands. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I control time and he'll make a, uh, a, a, a numeral like clock appear in his hand in front of him. Oh, oh how many wow. fingers were you holding behind <laughs> your back? <laughs> Three. Oh my god. <laughs> I could have guessed that. That's pretty good. Yeah. And uh PK, I think Bree right might be AFK right. Yeah, Bree's AFK currently. Yeah. So uh, uh Tremor will I am Tremor. Uh recently deceased. Um Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is no. that why you're talking like you like that? Yeah, I I recently joined the Legion of the Undead. Um I still have my mind, though. I just technically, you know, kind of knocks on his head. You know, not really alive, technically yeah. speaking. Clarence sort of gets it, but 
also just thinks, yeah, might have just lost your mind, and that's why you're doing this, like, acting like that. He's going to go, yeah, yeah. He's so weird. Yeah, he, he's so weird. <laughs> so very <laughs> weird. <Whisper it. laughs> so, uh, all right. Uh, let's just get it. Let's just get this all the way. This is Pekel. She's having a mental break right now as well. We've been through a lot. All right. Uh, listen, what are you doing here? Well, we, uh, we're continuing to research the cause behind Cosmicara and, uh, the inevitable suggested that we would have a lot to learn from visiting the station. When you right. apparently were battling it, one of you banished it and it was banished to this place. And in the short time that it was there, it apparently learned a bit more about its past. So it asked us to accompany it to learn, gather as much information as we could about it. All right. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll do us now. Uh, and I'll just sort of cover the whole thing since I, I think there's a lot more to cover with uh, what we've been sort of up to. So I'm gonna start. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start at the whole fire thing and get that whole deal out of the way, just so everyone's on the same page. I'm gonna drop polymorph. Okay. So at that point, at that point in time, you'll see. Uh, which Zahani? Uh, regular. Okay. Better be regular. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, this uh, young man appear before you. Uh, him. That was He's tiring. The He's quite capable. Bad. I thought you guys actually had a real big gorilla. Uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah. When uh, Look, when that fire happened, that's all a big misunderstanding. We, naturally, were taken from our home, teleported by, what was his name? Horn guy Levin, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, imagine our surprise when we strike up a deal with him to work with him, and then the next day we find out that he's been replaced by weird robots that yell at you. Uh, wow. And the robots keep saying he's dead. All right? Naturally, we say, oh, shit, we need to talk this out and figure out what we're going to do. We just lost our ticket home if anything goes wrong. So we have Dungo hot, close the door, and we say, please wait outside. They say, that's not going to be happening, and they light Dungo on fire. And then they start attacking us. So we run and take our only option that we have at that point in a place that we don't know because we were teleported by a guy who's dead now, uh, mind you. Uh, we go and uh, hang out with the other guy who hasn't tried to kill us, right? Are you following us here, following me? Yes. From, from our other perspective. Guy. The other guy, yeah, the big floating guy. Oh. Uh, Comes my car, huh? Yeah, so we go there and we say, hey, uh, we just got attacked by a bunch of psychos who uh, tried to kill us. He says, oh shit, we don't like those guys either. And then we get uh, teleported uh, to a place a lot similar to this. Cosmacara said that. They said, well, oh shit, uh, we don't like those Lagos. guys either. And I'm sort of paraphrasing. Wait, hold but... on now. Back up. Lagos, explain. Yeah, yeah Lagos, he's the uh, he's the guy running the whole deal. Uh, Cosma, Cosma's nothing. And... What? Yeah, he's yeah. like driving them. You ever you ever see Goblin of Oz? No. Only in yes, I've read a you ever few see that stories play? of it. Yeah. Sort of like, like that. He's like the he's he like the puppeteer behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh we're sort of forced to work for him because we don't really have another choice. He offers us the option of uh, annihilation or employment. Uh, neither of those were very good, but employment sounds better because we get to live. You know what I mean? Sends us over to Astral Academy to get information uh, to get you guys. At which point I say, ah, shit. I don't really want to do that either. Which is why you got that note and why we didn't kill any students uh, while we were there. I don't know if you noticed that. but uh, no, We don't really know their okay. names. Yeah, well, yeah. we only Thank killed you. the robots. Uh, and, and, the, and the pillows in all your bedrooms. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, and we tried to we tried to figure out something with the uh, inevitable, and he tried to kill me uh, while I was trying to make a 
deal with him. He didn't really give us a choice, but to well, I uh, thought you made a deal with Lagos. Yeah, we did, but uh, man we tried deals to make with a new deal. crazy psycho gods that want to destroy uh, the entire planet we live on are sort of pretty pretty decent deals to double cross, if oh. you know what I mean. Well, there's so, a clone uh, of Lagos inside of the inevitable. Huh? Well, <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we're jumping to that Look, now. Can we, can we, yeah, right, let me finish on. what Maybe I'm saying before we get into it. All right. I'm bad at stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Lagos has a brain worm in all of our heads or something. He fucks with us, he mutates us, makes us work for him. We go to the Astral Academy, try to get some information, try to strike a deal with the inevitable. He blasts us, declines the deal, says our only option is to die and be reincarnated back on Io, because I guess that's a goblin thing we can do. I don't know. It might have been bullshitting. But uh, we go back, and uh, we're left to our own devices in our facility. Very similar to this one. Uh, it seems to be a lot ni uh, a lot uh, newer than this one is. Yeah. More upkept. But uh, we're left to our own devices, and we start wandering around. Do you remember our big boy, Dungo? You remember him? Mm. You saw him. Some of you I saw do. Him. Yeah, we uh, we were wandering around. We uh, found him, uh, completely mutilated and ripped to shreds by uh, Lagos's machines. Giselle drops to the ground, oh, passed god. out. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. Yeah. Scarcely He's been doing person. that for a while now. Uh, Does it he was need a not... doctor? He's not to he, deal with grief. Yeah, if you guys well. got a doctor, that'd be yeah. good if someone wants or to take a look at it's it. It's not really like a physical we're problem. Not capable of health. He's working through <laughs> stuff, all right? There's it's not a much problem of the heart. Yeah, with that right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Lagos killed uh, Dungo, so then he gave us only one other option when we found that. He said either we go to sleep. And he summons us when he needs us, or we uh, don't do that, and we try to fight him. And uh, we chose option number two and broke our link to him, and we are rogue agents in the machine. Hmm. Figured you were always rogue agents, but... Yeah, now we're like double yeah, rogue agents mm. again. Well, what is your plan now? Oh, I want to kill him. Real bad. Uh, Mainly... Yeah, I want to kill him. I think I think him being dead would be good for me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We had the option to go guy. home. Can't handle it. I, I want money. I'll take anything that he has like in his inventory. But uh, Clint wants to kill him. He's been really dead set on killing him. Well, I mean, yeah. look, we had the option to go home, but we already know his plan. He he hates Io. He really hates Io, and what? Even if we did go home, it doesn't matter if he's gonna kill kill us all anyways in another couple well, months. Of course he ain't Io. They committed genocide on his people. Everyone yeah. knows that. Gonna say hi again. Can you leave it? Can, can, can you just? Al. Yeah. Al, Al, can you just talk for a while, mate? Can you just tell us what's going on? Well, we got teleported here. By the inevitable, and there's all of these like constructs. We started pressing things, and we saw that turns out great big solar flare sun blew up, destroyed this planet that they all came from. These Aurorian fellas, and they came uh... over to Io and they built that into a new planet and turned another planet into a sun. Very confusing. Um, you go through another scrumped up piece of paper at Alphonse's head. <laughs> Stop that. Alphonse, mate, cut to, the, cut to the real cheese, mate. What's the right. important information? I've forgotten who Lagos was now. He was, he was, a, he'd been cloned. And they wanted to use him. Tremor, what was the other bit? Now, how have you guys gotten this far with this guy? Um, I don't... <laughs> They're converting the planet into a sun, apparently. He killed off all of the Aurorans, the original species that lived oh, on Io. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, you're uh, good. yeah, you're right, you're right, you're, you're right. Good, sorry. You're good. You're sorry, we're all wiped out. 
Then the Aurorans moved in, and they're the progenitive species of us humans. Right. And I said, what if there's a little person inside the inevitable, and Trevor said it was dumb, and it turns out there is. Just what we oh. like the cade. <laughs> well, you really showed Tremor, right? <laughs> Thank you. He did, I guess. But there also was more than just people. It was also meat, right? Tell him about the meat now, Al. Well, it's more, yeah, the cade. Yeah, old right. meat. What? Right. What do you mean? So, oh, well. Listen. old Lagos. This is a lot to process all at once, but I got to tell you guys something flat out. You cannot tell that psycho robot that we're here. You, that guy is crazy, and I ain't oh, yeah. going anywhere near him. All We're right. not on good terms. Oh, we are yeah. not on good terms. I'm just as far as I can throw him. Uh, Frankly, it's... I don't think he's much better than Lagos is. Well, that's the thing. you and me. There's it's no real... Means. Oh, not what I was going to say. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm trying to finish your sentence. You go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you do that a lot, mate. It's all right. No, it's... I mean... I'm gonna. Where, where is Alphonse? Is this Alphonse? It's Al. Over there. Like, oh, what is happening? <laughs> Motel oh, knows that. Uh, Motel doesn't know that. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Carlson. Uh, you're, you're <laughs> Al Dante. I know him. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it's me, Alphonse. That... Uh, listen, mate. All right. You got a lot to say. Yeah. Are you the no. leader? Oh. No. You're not the leader. Model, no, stop Gideon harassing is. Alfredo. Hold on, Chloe. <laughs> Alfredo, silence. Now, Doris. Who's your, who's your leader? Uh, Gideon. Gideon? Where's Gideon? I'm. Why am I the leader, Al? You're, 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 you've got it all together. <clears throat> Tremors. He, con, con all, you know. Oh. Man, I thought I thought <laughs> Oz was, was dysfunctional. Clark's going to sort of nod and smile looking <laughs> yes. at his group of horrible misfits. <laughs> She's like, it's still yeah. passed out. Yeah, she's still. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go cast spare the dying on him, just in case. <laughs> so what? What were you saying? Uh, what? You, I don't know. You were. I, I said something about not liking either Lagos or oh. the inevitable, and then you start saying something. Yeah. So here's the situation. I think they're cut from the same cloth, actually. And there's two sides to the story, and both of them aren't really good so the only thing that i think they have in common is cosmicara one seems to be perpetuating it and the other one's trying to destroy it right right what right. can you describe this logos we've learned of him from uh, texts well, but we don't well, know. I mean, talks if you want to know what he sounds like he sounds, uh, he, the inevitable started talking just like him once we brought him up to him when we met him. Oh, that's so. Start doing that, start being like, I am Lagos. And he would like keep talking like, like that. You know what I mean? He, mm. Did he ever do it around you? He did. We just assumed it was robot things. Oh, I don't know if it's oh, robot things or very not. Elementary I mean, if he's, if he's from the yeah. same place as Lagos, <laughs> making sense. Fucking stab <laughs> 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 but uh um, yeah i mean he uh we didn't lagos is he's a weirdo you know he doesn't have any friends i can tell you that right now he's really in pathetic. your face he's not nice yeah asshole definitely oh asshole. yeah he had a big face as well big yeah. face well i mean uh we sort of at least i i don't know we got to some computers i'm telling you he's gotta be he's gotta be like smaller than the big face i think that was a i think that was like a pretty like a i don't know these things he was he was talking through these things mm -hmm. yeah because we were like, able to do that too you like gobby high or is he taller i i was probably like i don't know gorilla I gorilla. Gorilla. Hand. Yeah, like gorilla this one i am not yeah, a gorilla yeah. right now yeah. could be. Um, please be uh, i want to <laughs> change shape into a small gorilla <laughs> How small? <laughs> Just it's still my size. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it, this kind of height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, yeah, we might not have. We we're not going to tell the inevitable you're here, but it seems that he's connected to this place. So he 
he uses these scrying machines in like the corners of the rooms to look at everyone. Yeah, I mean, oh. to be to be totally honest, uh, between you and me, we we can hook into plenty of shit around here too. I'm not. No. I'm more worried about bumping into him in the same room together than him being able to see me through a camera. Because I mean, Lagos already tried that and he couldn't stop us either. Wait, so hmm. Lagos gave you guys some sort of special access to this place? Uh, yeah. well, I can, I can show you if you want. Sure. You trust hmm. me, man? I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but I have no reason to hurt you right now. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to attempt to Cosma draw uh, two Tremor. Oh. In order to exchange the information of what our Cosmodraw can do. Okay. Uh, go he ahead and roll. He can decide if he wants to resist that or not. Okay. So with a 13, um, you will see kind of as if someone is trying to probe inside your mind as uh, Clarence's eyes begin to fade into a faint uh, tint of purple. Mm. Do you allow the entry into your mind? Would I be able to spell extract this? Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is like a physical mutation of ours, isn't it? Ooh, at this point? Yeah, but we've done this before with other yeah. things. <laughs> yeah. DNA is there, these are two We're different this. homebrew mechanics that Brett made that are now meeting, and he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. So uh, if you would like to cast the spell extract spell, would you like to make an arcana check to estimate what you would be doing? It would, yeah. The purpose is to understand what is trying to be done and if there's a right. way to, like, interact with it without being at the whim of it sort of thing. Okay, so uh, go ahead and make an Arcana check as you're, as right okay. now you feel something probing into your mind. And depending on what you roll, that's a good wow. roll. Let's get a high roll. <sighs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Tremor. <laughs> so... From what you understand from the Cosma draw, um, it is essentially a link. It, he's, uh, you can tell that Clarence is trying to link into your mind to give you sort of like a, like memories of information using the power of Cosma uh, to link into your mind and kind of like an upload, provide just all sorts of like just information. He's trying to give you information at this point. Uh, if you make a wisdom check or a wisdom saving throw, uh, you are free to try and uh, resist that effect. So it, you can't. He cannot do that. <sighs> if you are to cast spell extraction, there will be a, a con. Not a con. There'll there'll be a contested roll between Arcana check and Cosma draw, uh, depending on how high you roll. Uh, you may be able to extract the Cosma energy from Clarence to sort of kind of duplicate it or draw it in its entirety into your mind, uh, essentially taking away Clarence's Cosma ability and then taking it for yourself. Ah, uh, so this is how we all kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Neutral drain. Oh, boy. Interesting. Neutral um, drain. I mean, okay. If he was able to determine that Clarence is purely like transferring yes. data and not like that is correct. trying to retrieve data, then I don't think he would be. He doesn't want to resist that. Mm -hmm. I think depending on the data he gets, he would then either look to, uh, you know, and you're, extract you're, it himself or not. You, yeah. Well, so you're 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 free to 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 make that decision at that point in time. Um, but the information would be because it's knowledge at that point. The information mm -hmm. would be given to you. So, uh, but the question is, do you accept the link? Yes. Okay. Uh, so failing the wisdom saving throw, uh, Clarence is successfully able to use the Cosma draw to link into your mind. Uh, Clarence, what do you wish to share with with uh, Tremor? I want to share, like, the nature of the fact that we can open doors at will, lock them. Mm -hmm. I'm um, not going to go into much more detail into, mm -hmm. like, the depths of being able to, say, take knowledge directly from the inevitable and, like, download it. For right, ourselves. right, right. I'm going right. to leave out the more, like, <laughs> malicious extents of yes. what this thing can do. Of course. Uh, so, the information that gets flooded into you, you kind of see from, like, the perspective of Clarence as he goes over into these machines with strange Cosma energy uh, and is able to sort of 
just uh, in itself decipher logs. Uh, you kind of saw the log before on this on a screen like this, um, but Clarent interact interacts with it uh, with his mind. Uh, you also see images of him interacting with doors that are typically locked, uh, able to use Cosmodraws to like override, almost as if it was it, it's someone that is able to override what a construct can do. If someone was able to link to like a, an iron golem or a shield guardian or anything like that, and they're able to like control what they want them to do. Uh, but mm. this technology is very advanced to the point where you're not even certain if wizards can recreate at this point. Clarent has the ability to access that and tap into it, kind of as if he's tap right now as he taps into your mind. And that is the information that has been given to you. Would I be able to keep this link open for now? Like, or is he capable of shutting it whenever he, is, he wants? I mean, I mean, after he gives the information, Clarent is capable of shutting it. It would be up to you if you would want to try and force the link open. I think while the link's still open, he's going to say, This is fascinating. Do you mind if I examine it a bit closer? Uh, what does that mean? Just a little bit of magic. Won't hurt. Just uh, it's so eh. fucking vague. Clark, yeah, that's too vague. I'm gonna cut it. Okay. Uh, you will feel the 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 uh, pull of the Cosmo begin to try and leave your mind. Do you allow it? Hmm. <laughs> You'd inevitable pulled the same shit with us. Little bit of something <laughs> they beats the crap out of us. Don't trust him as far as I can throw. <laughs> The wheels All right, are he'll turning. let it go. Okay. Uh, you release it. Uh, the, the link is severed at that point. Um, Clarent. But yeah, long story short, uh, that's what we're up to in here. That's mm. how we got oh. here. Just plug ourselves into a thing. I point to that thing over there. And mm. just teleport somewhere. Easy peasy. So you're able to freely move around the place. To an extent. I mean, there's got to be like power. Uh, this was a one-way trip, but I'm assuming there's another place to leave here. Hmm. Well, we have a way out, but it's through your not-so-friendly acquaintance. Yeah, uh-uh. Right. And I don't know how he's gonna feel Especially when Especially now they know there's people in him. I mean, you guys yeah. seem to sort of well, gloss over that. Look, if we're honest, we don't know what state he's gonna be in when he reawakens. The information we learned here might compromise his integrity then why the hell are you letting him keep doing it if he's just sitting somewhere and he might snap why am he like taking his arms off yet what are you doing uh clarent oh. Cl clarent as you say that you hear from over here boop, boop, boop. if i heard like sudden beeping from one mm -hmm. of these things, I would immediately whip around, try to cosmo draw, and turn it off. <laughs> so, <And> frankly, <laughs> so you, as you hear the beep beep, Clark <laughs> in, in an absolute panic <laughs> turns over, <laughs> holds out his hand, and his, his eyes just turn purple immediately over to the machine. <laughs> It have not plugged in somewhere unattended. <laughs> it spark. It almost sparks at that point as you create a direct link. Uh, with that thirty to a Cosmo draw, you feel the presence of the inevitable immediately, and it's not because you feel the, its presence uh, within uh, the machine. Uh, you realize that the inevitable seems to have synced itself everywhere to this area. You and you put him in the whole system, huh? We didn't put him there. He put him there. We didn't more, really know what he was. More importantly, uh, the identification of the station as the Auroran Research Station for the Lagos Project and Sun Creation Program becomes, uh, renames itself. Right. <laughs> to and the cool. Astral Academy. Uh... What? This is, uh... Ah... Uh. Are they able to like, is this on a screen? Can I like nope. turn the screen on for them? Nope. Is this there a monitor is I could... just you? I, this is I just mean, my info. This is the info that you know now. Right. Well, I'd share it with them uh, immediately. I'd relay exactly what you just told me uh, through my voice. I'm yes. not connecting another fucking wire to <laughs> yeah, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the app, you're free to share it at that point if you wish. Uh, so, um, Brett, can you like repeat it to me just so yeah. I like so essentially in short the station's title and identification has been renamed into the Astral Academy 
as in uh, the station is now named the Astral Academy. Your robot just renamed uh, the whole place to Astral Academy. You guys are aware of that? Uh, what do you mean? Okay. It looks like he's hijacking this place and making it Astral Academy. At least he renamed oh. the, the thing. No, okay. I wouldn't say ooh in such a like happy <laughs> way. It's a nice station. Ooh. This could be quite <laughs> nice. Does that get on like a dead god? Man, uh, okay. isn't in his best interest anymore. Yes. There's a couple. This is no. Yeah, there's a couple of things this could mean, but we need to talk quickly. A, where is Lagos now? Is he still on the station? Did He's he go not somewhere? on this station, but we have we had a up we had a means to go to him. How directly? Uh, well, we had like a we had like a general like area. Are we sure him, right? that's where right. he was? Well, we had we the way remember. to we had the we had the way to teleport to Cosma Kara like the body like the yeah. floating body, which is assumedly he's in there. I think uh, he's piloting it from inside like a little man. He looks like yeah, out. like a little man. <laughs> I, I'm always a little, there's always a little man. I'm always a little man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could you me, dude? If if you brought the inevitable here and he's in the thing right now, we gotta get out of here. I don't know about you guys, but us goblins gotta go. Yeah, okay. we're not on good terms with Lagos. Look, look, I believe you, and I don't know why, but if if you do have to run. You need to share that power with me so we can find you again. What? You, uh... So you can find us again? What do you mean? If you're able to travel around this place freely, and we can't, we're at the whim of the inevitable. You can do whatever it wants. <laughs> that is true. Pikel, you slap Cheese all around. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was anything I could do to wake him up, but I critically failed, so I probably would slap him. <laughs> I know, he's still passed out. No. Still out. Oh, wow. Now with a, okay. a raw cheek as well. I'm gonna um, spoon some uh, pickle juice into his mouth. Okay. It dribbles out the side of his mouth. Oh, no. Listen, all right. <sighs> I, 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 is, this gonna, is this gonna hurt me? Is this gonna fuck me up? Because we can't afford to get any, any nasty side effects from any sharing here. I don't even know how that would work. Yeah, is it sharing or stealing? Well, if you steal it from me... Like. It's sharing. Oh, Plus, yeah, oh. we can... I don't think now's the time out, but we could give them knowledge if they want it. I'll let you have one free tutorship. Uh, I completely disregard what, <laughs> what <laughs> Alfredo just said, and I move on. <laughs> He's been renamed. Right. Oh yeah. Listen, all right. You are correct. Uh, you definitely. I'm gonna be honest with you. You definitely do not want to be stuck underneath the inevitable. If I were you, I'd try to get out of there as fast as possible. So I'm gonna go out on a whim here and toss you a bone on this one. But um, you better. This better be. This better be all it is. All right. Yeah. He's gonna walk up to you, and you'll see his skin is like. Kind of cracked, you know, like uh, fucking Knights of the Republic when you make a bunch of bad decisions and you get the dark side face and you're all like, yeah, sort of like you've never, you've never like seen Renegade Moose Mass Effect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he yeah, looks like, like that. Is yeah. like got a face <laughs> plastered, like skin tight over his like skull. He's gonna smile at you. You can trust me. <laughs> <laughs> can I? <laughs> I think of casting Zone of Truth. I decide <laughs> against it because of lack of time. All right. Here we go. You guys got my back. I'm gonna look over at my crew. Pico I'm gives playing with the small up. monkey. Oh, okay. Oh, she's <laughs> <Giselle> still <laughs> dribbling <laughs> juice out of his mouth. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> I I like, you like, You've got my back, red right, guys, and you turn around and they're just fucking around. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm not right. <laughs> I'll Cosmo draw. All right, I'll spell extract. All right, you spend the spell slot. At this point, I need to know, Tremor, are you going to be trying to duplicate or are you going to be trying to take? By duplicating, you will gain temporary access to the Cosma ability. If you attempt to take, uh, you will gain permanent access to the Cosma ability fairly easily, taking it from Clarent. What do you do? How are going to renegade? Well, with <laughs> spell extract i'm able to share my knowledge with others that was like part of the mastery uh, he's great mastery achieved. yeah that yeah. is that that is correct so i would take and then share it back and make yep. my own copy 
Yep. So just so you know, from the way this Cosmin works, it will be a temporary bonus that will eventually leave you. It's kind of oh. a little different than just a spell because you're actually taking like the bean of this. This is more than just taking a spell. You're using it's a limited battery. Yeah, we're okay. infused. Yeah, you're. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's the same for them. It's like a temporary. No mm -hmm. drinky battery. Okay. Uh, well, they, yeah, except the battery's like infused we, we got in them. Fucked up big. Yeah, we're like yeah. mutated. Our, ours ain't going away. <laughs> oh no, they 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 permanently have co they're yeah. permanently Cosma, yeah, but we're it's really it, cool it's stuff, part of the, it's part of their makeup now. So okay. you you can duplicate it, um, but it would only last within you from a for a temporary period of time. You would have to literally um, take the battery and put it in you if you wanted to be permanent. I he he will as he's duplicating it he'll ask clern you know i could cure you of this remove it all would I you mean, want that it was only a problem when lagos could get in but he can't we took care of that we're free mm. very well you trusted me so i'll trust you and i'll just make a copy all right You've successfully copied copied the uh, Cosmo draw ability uh, for, oh boy. You feel an infusion of power through this temporary, just, just absolute, just, it surges over within you. And for a brief moment, as you temporarily successfully copy it over, I can only describe as a spellcaster, you feel for a moment, invincible a surge Ooh. power a surge <laughs> of power falls over you so that's how we feel all the time by the way power. <laughs> yeah. so yes, you will welcome uh so for the a time for a limited period of time which will be removed you're uncertain when uh but will definitely last while you're here in the station uh you will gain the power of cosma as it diffuses within your mind and body um, Clarence, make an insight check for me, please. Oh, man. I have always been good at those, bruh. With a 14, a couple of things of note. Uh, you remember Lago speaking to you and mentioning that, um, that Dungo essentially was a, was unable to receive the Cosma ability. Uh, that you all seem to uh -oh. be able to receive it as if it was meant <laughs> for you. Uh, as... You, at that point, as uh, as Tremor copies it, you also begin to feel as if this power can fuse with him as easily as it can infuse with the goblins. Oh, it nice. may not. It may not necessarily. <laughs> oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> I was hoping, man. <laughs> 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 my, my fucking like immortal lich plot is immediately ruined, and I just give instead. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, like... All right, so, um. Yeah, with that, um, so it might not necessarily be a goblin thing, but you can tell that Tremor is also easily able to receive this Cosma infusion. Oh, Tremor's essentially. dead. The power of the protagonist. Tremor's sure dead Tremor body, dead. right? Yeah. yeah. I would operate on the assumption that this is something mm -hmm. to do with the fact that he's dead, not that he's a human, frankly. Okay. In, in this case. Now, listen here, all right? One thing that you gotta know, which frankly I should have told you before you did this, but don't worry, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. The inevitable's gonna blast you the second he senses that cosmic shit in you. All right. Hmm. Fun. Cause he, the second I walked into that room and tried to, tried to be honest with him about what was happening, he shot me. Second he sensed that cosmic stuff, like he's got radar for it. So, uh, you should probably ditch that before you go see him again. Or he's going to try to kill you. Hmm. Uh, I'll figure something out. Tremor, if you refuse, if you refresh your character sheet, uh, you will gain, you have gained the feat imbued with Cosma, which has boosted up your charisma score. And you have gained the skill Cosma Draw, which you have expertise at which gives you a plus Ooh. 10 on Cosma draw abilities. This allows oh. you, from what you understand, from the information tapped with Clurnt, you can now tap into these machines, um, as well as attempt to hack through any doors that may be locked. Very cool. Along okay. with other additional things that you are uncertain of at this time. Hmm. Right. 
Well, oh, I should probably tell them about what's inside the nipple, right? Huh? The Didn't what? You the guys nipple. already say <laughs> the nipple? <laughs> no. The meat? No, it's What'd there's also. Like, uh, I think your grandmother is also a magical box attached to it. Huh? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we managed to meet. Yeah, grandmother. She's alive? I thought I sent her to die. That was honestly, frankly, sort of oh, the plan. She, she, she did she drug. Did worm's ass. She did drug uh, chisel. She, uh, she's technically alive. She's a part of the inevitable now, but she also oh, said something else. Clarent, he's gonna walk forward. Uh, she told me that you are the new grandmother. I mean, <laughs> no, 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 my, my is wrong. No, mate. Uh, that's been that's been a thing <laughs> since like session two, right, Brett? I'm gonna look over <laughs> at the corner towards Brett. The you you see a blank <laughs> corner as he stares off into some strange name. He seems to mutter to himself. Uh, it's like session two stuff, man. That's nothing. Uh, uh, uh Gobby, chat really quickly. Yeah. That's yeah, that's not that's not accurate anymore. Yeah, it's yeah, not right. yeah. <laughs> That's an inaccuracy. Uh, uh, can you say all of that again, Tremor? Uh, can you say it to Skagzag? <laughs> what? Can you just oh, say yeah. everything you just said, but to Skagzag instead? I gave the Skagzag owner of the ruler. The ruler. He's a new granny. Granny yeah, he's granny. Oh, yeah, now. I'm granny. He's veiny granny. Not my problem yeah. anymore. Very veiny. Very, lots of varicose veins. Ah. Huh, well, she was definitely under the impression that it was Clarent, but... Look, I don't She's know how you got She's old information, things. Tremor. She's confused. She's old. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, the point is, it seems that something has to do with the granny title and a power of magic called the day, which, uh... Oh, that's in that shitty little ruler? All right, now I'm not sure that it's just transferred by a ruler. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's oh. like that's a that's like I got a magic missile cast in it, and nope, then it does about nope, pretty five. Pretty sure damage. it's all in it's all in Skagzag now. I thought I'm it was the sure. ruler, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a ruler. I mean, I don't want to deal it's with probably, that. I think it's, it's the ruler. ruler. I think it's the ruler. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't really care if it's the ruler. Yeah. I just wanted you to know, I guess. So, uh, was important. so wait, what happened to Granny then again? She's in the computer. I mean, With she's the other in inevitable. So you're telling me you Wait, fed the inevitable granny? Pretty nah, much. She's a machine in a way. She's, Wait, is she yeah. one of the people controlling the inevitable from inside? No, okay, nah, look, she's, she's alive. It was granny all along. She, uh... He's never liked her. Now, yeah. what if we walked in there right <laughs> now a... while he's still sort of like in sleep mode? We just sort of unplugged granny. Whatever. Well, yeah, we could do that. I guess if we knew where to find her, but oh, uh, we don't know how to turn her know. back. She's like literally a piece of metal. Yeah, give it to them. We don't need it. Yeah. I mean, if you want to carry around a granny piece of metal, then be my guest. I mean, it's Don't what you it. want. If but, Jesus uh, finds no. out granny's dead, I'm, I might kill everyone. Oh, Don't God. Do it. Yep. Oh, yep. God. No, oh, she's still alive. He bargained for her life. <laughs> she's a piece of cool metal. Living. Death. She's more like a computer. <laughs> I'm gonna... Are computers really alive, though, Alfonso? Oh, I don't know. When I, when I hooked into the... Uh, when I hooked into this, did it give, like, any sign of, like, what the inevitable was doing aside from renaming shit like is does it look like it was like almost done with whatever it was it was doing uh, it, it's like, a, uh so yeah i i will also say because of the 30 that you drew at that point that it essentially was trying to grant itself administrative rights uh to this station to make it its own right. station we need to leave before that happens <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well uh listen all right uh, that inevitable is currently trying to get uh, full access to this place, and when that happens, we get we are stuck here and will probably be killed. All yep. right, so um, it's been a pleasure, it really has, uh, but uh, we gotta get moving. We gotta get moving. One What's question, your plan? Though. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm gonna Drama. plug into some more stuff and see when it says I can leave again, or maybe I'll go and just beat the crap out of the inevitable now while he's sleeping. Do you guys care? Um, I'm not Why sure. Why don't we do that? We haven't really figured out. Why haven't you done? Wait, why haven't we just done that? <laughs> yeah, you guys really should it. take his arms off, though, but, like for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, yeah, we can try. I mean, like a bomb. But do we have enough magic to defeat Listen, Cosmicara yet? All I can say for you right now is that the inevitable, when we fought him, was completely resistant to all physical attacks. He, he, he. We had to, we had to blast him with magic 
or it didn't even matter. We laugh as a wizard party. <laughs> Laughs and wizards. Frankly, if I had to guess, brandish uh, his if, if, like, I don't want to tell you guys. You know, he might be a friend. I don't. I don't know what your connection is with this guy. If we all ran in there right now and started beating the crap out of him, we could totally take him down. Well, he is capable of magic that I cannot even comprehend. Yeah, though. but that's in his home turf. Holy he, fuck, I just checked the systems. Name. He ain't in on this one yet. <laughs> this is his home turf. Don't you get it? He was built here. Yeah, but he hasn't. But he's still getting administrative access. When we fought him for, he was able to move around the machines and shit in his room. And I yeah. know we can't do that yet. And I'm listen, 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 guys, guys. Question. Does uh -huh. Handsome still need his head? Because we had a bounty, actually, from, like, a while back. <laughs> yes. He goes... <laughs> and fucking lunges at you. It needs the head. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Can we, just Can we take the hat? Just take the hat. I'll take the hat. I like the hat, though. Why don't you just take an you eye? Can, you can afford many hats. How many wizard? people can you recognize you from just the that eye? Well, I'll take an eye, too. That's the first out. thing I noticed. Oh, fuck it. I'll take your teeth. <laughs> I'm going to start... Hacking at everything oh on the face God. now at this point. Hey, hey, hey. I'll do oh, it. Hold on. I'm getting I'll get teeth out of there. Yeah, yeah, no, get away from him. <laughs> All right. All right. I, uh, so so we've got a time uh, limit here. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm going to send my head. Clint, let's go. I'm going to send my head to go and look at the inevitable. Uh, See if he's still there. Okay. Uh, as you move your head over, you walk into the area as Duck is on. It's just. Uh, at that point, just looking at a couple of things, uh, the room seems to have unchanged. He's still in his sleepy nap position. Right. You guys got to decide what you're going to do, because I don't know. Really, we can do this with or without you folks. Not Look. the killing inevitable oh, thing, but taking care yeah. of ourselves. I kind of want to leave, to be I honest. don't trust that guy as far as I can throw him, and eventually I can almost guarantee he's going to take a swing at you, too. Hmm. Right wow. now, he's our best chance for fighting Cosmicara, but after that, we don't really know what will happen with him. We haven't really had a, ch a chance to discuss it. We literally found all this out and then walked down the hallway and here you are. I wouldn't let him hook in any more of this stuff if you want to ever plan on taking him down, all right? Because this, yeah. stuff, this stuff's way more advanced than the crap he was dealing with in the academy. Well, based on what you said, it sounds like he's trying to relocate here yeah which is why it's uh which is why i was saying maybe you should take him down now and take our chances i mean we can teleport right on the cosmic car right now if you find another uh, panel for it another panel what yeah that's how we got yeah. here we had the option to go station. straight to cosmic car big floating baby had the option to teleport right into it we chose this place first yeah no we well. can already teleport you ourselves would you help us defeat Cosmicara? Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just, yeah, probably. I like, yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like, it's it's more of a Lagos thing for us, but if he's running Cosmicara, then deal. I love, See, I, I love, I time. just imagine Clurt looking forward going, yeah. And then he just looks up, yeah. And then looks like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, then. But to, to be quite frank, the inevitable is a terrible headmaster. So, I don't think we have much allegiance beyond the need to save our world. He's what the master of head? No, headmaster yeah. is the, the 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 lead position in a school. Then, Mister Pickle, Miss Pickle. <laughs> uh, Mister Pickle, this guy's <laughs> name is Pickle. What's Pickle? Mr. Pickle? <laughs> yeah. Apologies. Show some respect. Sorry. Like, well, I don't want to you guys. of her own religion, He's mate. a master of heads, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's not She's taken many like heads. He's many head taken. She looks at you threateningly, Aldoris. Oh. Sorry. I don't want to put you guys on the spot here, but you have a time limit. You have a time limit. We all have a fucking time limit, it is. Why don't we go and stand in front of it, and if it attacks Tremor, then... We take it down. Because he'll be awake. <laughs> the so point is, now. And he's the point is that we get it now and disable it. You don't even have to kill it. We just have to disconnect it and make sure that it can't fight. Really think it's as simple as unplugging it? Honestly, I mean, yeah. that's how everything else is for us. Yeah. <laughs> what about? 
Okay. The only thing is, what if you're tricking us and you're working with Cosmic Car and this is a big way to take down our leader? Zona, True. truth yourself. Oh, God, do you want, me to, do you want me to do another? Do no. a Zona truth. Do it, do it. Do you, you want a Zona truth? Zone? Are everyone in the zone? <laughs> All right, I'll do a fucking zone. All right. I cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> All wasting right. my second level spell <laughs> slot for this shit. As soon as it's up. Get in, you still my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Now that's how you use a zone of truth. <laughs> uh, what, what's the aura of the zone of truth again? 30, 15 feet radius? Uh, 15 feet area. All right. <laughs> Everyone in here must speak the truth. If they attempt to lie, must make a... Wait, hold on. I think it's a... They do it I, before they even... Yeah. When they First enter. They roll to but see I think they can, like, technically them. just say, I'm not going to resist. Yeah, you are. I think you, uh, I'll know if they resist. So. That, is, that is correct. You will know if someone attempts to resist. That is correct. Uh, so, so Technically, no one would know if I resisted. But I'm not going to resist. Well, no, well, no. Only, only Clunt would know if anyone's resisting. Right? Correct. Correct. Yes. Right. Okay. And what do we roll to resist? Uh, Charisma saving throw. 15. <laughs> A <laughs> uh, bottle attempted to resist and did not. <laughs> I believe I also have to roll. So uh, okay, if I wanted to lie, I could. Uh, but you, are you? Uh, you're refusing. No, okay. I think I, I think I would wait and see. Uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat. Go. I'm waiting to see who else rolls. Because <laughs> like, if they bullshit here, <laughs> like that sort of well, changes the. Well, so at this point, if you wish to with withstand the zone of truth. Uh, you roll your Christmas save now. You have 10 seconds, or I will dis or at that point, I'll just assume it's like a fucking that you're failing. spaghetti western standoff. <laughs> 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 yeah. Make a move. You have, uh, five, you know what? You have five seconds. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I won't roll. Okay. Oh, he's lovely. All I right. will also not roll. So with the, not. with the 10 seconds elapsed, I will assume everyone here in the zone of truth is not rolling the Christmas save. Uh, you must, you are propelled to tell the truth. Nothing I'm I've said has been bullshit this entire time. All right. But have you told oh. the truth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that means, Tremor. I hate humans. <laughs> he really oh, does. Damn it. I was hoping Yours. that was just really hyperbolic. <laughs> so what's well, it is anyone going to talk? Because you guys didn't believe that we were going to help you, and this wasn't like a plan to double cross. We're not going to double cross you. So we're let's go take down side. the inevitable. What if I believe you believe that, but I believe that will also change? He's my, making my head the heart. Yeah, right? you're running us in circles. Fuck. Listen, <laughs> the zone of truth only lasts 10 minutes, man. <laughs> I want to do this for 10 more minutes. Yeah, Skagzard's getting angsty. I want to fight. Is there uh, any yeah. human ever poop pants? What? Yes. what? <laughs> I am not a human, though, but yes. It's none of truth. It's coming ah. true out. Oh, does yeah, not she's hurt. asking if you've ever shat yourselves, my uh, uh, You, you seem are, very quiet over there. You are able, well, within a zone of truth, uh, you cannot lie, but you also don't have to answer. <laughs> you have to answer in the zone of truth. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. I do not wish to answer that question. <laughs> He's definitely pooped his pants. Oh, that guy's a pants pooper. Yeah, he's a pants pooper. I will not confirm or deny. Listen, uh, yeah, right, you, yeah, you, yeah, you just confirmed it. <laughs> if we go and murk the inevitable right now, we got you back. And we will help you kill Lagos. All right? Yep. How would we get to Lagos without the inevitable? Look, all these places are connected with power. We know how to connect to that. You've seen that with the Cosma Draw. These platforms yeah. we're standing on right now are teleportation platforms. All right? We could we probably can go teleport. back. Yeah, we could use one of his systems in this room. Especially what about with the after? inevitable no turning idea, everything though. back on, there's more, there's yeah, more I, power I, going into this place. Wait, that's, that's lying then. Or are you just... No. No, he doesn't believes, know, though. but he, he thinks, he know. believes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> what happens after? After we kill him? Or after, uh, after what? We kill the inevitable, we kill Lagos. Then what? We We're fucking have gods! Oh, gods. Picnic? Bada bing, bada bam. I would like a picnic. Picnic. Where? Do you picnic? Everyone Enjoy? eat pickles. Yes. We all eat pickles, yep. The right, sausages. Gang. What if the other adventurers on Io? 
Uh, I mean, what do you, uh, what do you want us to <laughs> what do? What are you there? trying to? Like, yeah, like, what are you asking? Right, the inevitable what are you... was the way we got them to help us fight well, Cosmic Power. Well, address. We can I probably do something out there. <laughs> <sighs> um, technically, Cheezel knows where the pirates are. Because oh. I Cosma drew a pirate. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. That's true. I'm passed out, but like, I mean, it's we, cool. can also, <laughs> we can also Cosmo draw the rest of them when we get to the inevitable. That's not. Fun. Yeah. Well, you don't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, Does anyone here have a carrier pigeon? I can I can cast sending, but not. Carrier. Is that like a magical carrier pigeon? Yeah, no way. I can pretty much now that I know all of you at any point, at any time, I can send you a message, and you'll hear me inside of your brain. That's true. Holy fuck! Why can't you do that, Clunt? I got a, I got, I got, I, I got message. It's like the short range, silly version. Uh, <laughs> it's sounds like a fun great. Pack. It's fun. Sounds size. great. Yeah. Party yeah, well, sized. Yeah. I am actually connected with one of them too, but it's a one way communication. <laughs> I can't communicate them unless they talk to me. Anyway, Gideon, wow. you've been very quiet during this. What do you think? I think we should go kill the inevitable. Damn. Okay. <laughs> That wasn't even a lie! <laughs> <laughs> All right! This guy gets it! That's he the most decisive uh, thing I've heard all night! I don't understand why we've been exchanging stories and... We should just go, go kill the inevitable yeah. right now. Hell yeah! I like this guy! Before we go, though, Zahani! <laughs> Zahani! What? I Where are you from? Hands. Oh! I do not know. Oh! Uh, wait, 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 wait! Zahani, are you really a monkey? I am whatever I want to be. That's pretty sweet. Checks out. <laughs> Teacher, do you like me? Oh, oh I gotta go. Oh. I gotta go. You never go any second now. Oh, God. I'll go up to the, uh, I guess we'll open the door. <laughs> oh, and... the door. He's going to say, you're growing on me. And then he's going to walk out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I forgot about something. We should probably uh, try to wake up. Uh... <laughs> he's all, yeah. <laughs> he's sort of a, he's sort of a close quarters. All right, I'll wake him up. Hold on. I'm gonna bonk him on the head as hard as I can. Oh. Do I need to are roll we, anything? Are we bro? killing this one? He's gonna. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're waking no, him up. We're waking him up. He, he's real strong. Real strong. Give him yeah, one of your pickles. He's already tried. He moved. Yeah. Don't put worry. This one in his work. mouth. Uh, ch Cheezel slash Cheezel, uh, what is happening currently? Uh, you bop me on the head and his eyes pop open and he looks at you always like, Oh, are we, what, what is this? <sighs> Good go, 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 Already done it, mate. We're ready to fight. <laughs> We're done. We're ready to go. You're really good at improv, thing. though. You'll be fine. And who are you? Uh, oh. Who? Uh, <laughs> Who, me? Who, who are you talking to? Yes, you. Oh. I'm Mo, mate. I'm your old friend Mo. Old friend? Doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. All right, Do you, you recognize you anyone in this room? The zone of Sorry, truth is I upon don't. him. Are we new companions? Yes, we are. Let's go fight. You want to do a fight with us? <laughs> do you want me to check him? I might of be course, able to figure I out. I love fighting. Don't worry wrong. about it, Tremor. Don't even, yeah, don't even worry about it. There's a lot about. going on here to unpack <laughs> in, in the <laughs> time limit that we have. Fair enough. I love it. Come with me. Like, I love it. Tremor's just like, oh, I can check him out. <laughs> the cop part's like, like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm probably able to diagnose the source of his mental illness, and you're like, nah, it's fine. <laughs> just help me kill us. It came this way. <laughs> so, what are we doing? We're killing a robot. We're going to go kill a big robot. And what did this robot do to us? He besmirched your name. <gasps> yeah, talk to that true? You're in the zone What's of truth. What's my name? Yeah, yeah, yeah um, that's true. I, I am in the zone of truth. It's not true, but I, you know, he probably <laughs> would be. He seems like the type of fella. He's not a very nice guy. Yeah, he is a dick head. Metaphorically, and, not and, physically, because that would be a lie. You're cheese out, mate. He's a very brave, powerful warrior. Oh, yeah. Also Everyone makes really knows you. This is gonna go until the end of time. Yeah, <laughs> welcome, Vash. Let's go. So, so, All right. so <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're, we're I'm going to pause here for a moment and ask your next course of action. Uh, you all, have you all committed into fighting the inevitable? Yes. 
Yeah. All yeah. Well, yeah. right. Yes. Well, no. <laughs> Jess, uh, Jesse, are you uh, going to be sitting down? I don't know what I'm doing. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, I, I kind of have to uh, know for next time. So uh, if everyone continues to talk and say, hey, we're going to go ahead and fight the uh, inevitable, would Cheezel or Cheezel be like, what would Cheezel or Cheezel do at that point? Well, I'm along. Uh, I just don't know what this thing's done to. I'm going to ask what it, you know, what mm-hmm. its deal is. Obviously. Would, you, would you be in the room for it as you continue to follow everyone? Of course, I'd be everyone? in the room, yes. Okay. All right. That's, that's good enough. So you guys are going to go ahead and return to that. Uh, if that's the case, we will uh, put a pause on this and uh-huh. end today's session of Goblins of Ios, <laughs> our Astral, Astral Academy Goblins crosser. Of Astral, Astral Goblins of Ios Astral Academy. Of Ios. Oh, yeah, uh, very good, very good session, everyone. I that was that was good wonderful. Time. That was a very oh, good dynamic. Um, Quick thing, I'm just going to mention just for all of us to think about. Uh, he's currently concentrating on a banishment spell that's got us here, so oh. you know. Uh, oh, it's a concentration cool. spell. A little wrench thrown into those no, plans. Sure yeah. that. I mean, that's you how we got here. You're, he's like, yeah, I but he doesn't, he doesn't need to back. concentrate on spells like that, I don't think. Because he did true polymorph with that concentration. But if he just dispels it, then he fucking... You you know, know, spell over it. Some, yeah, yeah. That's something. That is something you're going to have to think about as you begin to walk over into the area. <laughs> um, is everyone here? And I guess I'm talking more for Astral side uh, next Wednesday for another Astral combination. Does that work well yeah. for everybody here? Yeah, should be good. Yeah, should be, yeah, can should do, be can good. Do. We'll get, we'll right. get Brizzy as well. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I know Brizzy couldn't make it. Yeah, hopefully, I know Brizzy can make it this week. Hopefully, she can make it next week. We'll we'll fig we'll figure something out. We'll work on that because I definitely want Brizzy in for another session. Whole fucking conversation again. Brizzy in here. Yeah. Uh, since Brizzy in here, we're gonna do a real quick roll. Uh, on a one. Chizel immediately recognizes her and snaps out of it for his infinite love. <laughs> Two doesn't recognize her. And okay. Yes, dude. No. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, no. Oh, no. It's probably best. It's probably best. That is a shame. That is a shame. I'd like to assume that. Um, all right. So at that point in time, wasn't meant to be. Ouchies. Wasn't meant to uh, be. Uh, so at that point in time, uh, we'll wrap up today. We'll hold off on fan art until next week because I know we've got a hard out today uh, at 10 o'clock. But thank you guys so much. This was a wonderful combination. Usually big, giant, I feel like party sessions can get very clumsy and very like over it. But you all handled it perfectly well. Yeah, I say uh, it looks well. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for all that. That was wonderful. And then next session is going to be more than likely a, well, a giant fight against the inevitable, which should be a lot of fun and extremely dangerous and uh, very impactful. So I think it's going to be great for the story as well. So thank you guys again so much. Y'all are wonderful players. Thank you again. And we'll be back next week for the next crossover episode. Woo! All right. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate y'all very much. I'll see y'all next week, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. That's just Joe. Uh, guys, what'd you think of the crossover episode? That was great. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so, just to... Sorry, it should be good. Yes! Breezy's gonna be back next Wednesday! Woo! That's perfect! The goblins uh, and Astral will walk into the room, and as they walk into the room, uh, once again, Duck is on. We'll be focusing on trying to see what exactly is going on with the construction thing at that point in time. Great crossover session. So, because we did a crossover session today, we will not be doing Astral Academy tomorrow. This was like a full-blown crossover, which I'm... I'm so fucking jazzed about, and I'm so glad that it went well. So we're going to be doing a second crossover session next Wednesday, 7 p.m. EST, with all the goblins and all of Astral Academy for a massive, probably, honestly, what's going to be the biggest boss fight so far uh, in IO, I would dare say, because this is this this will definitely be scaled for the amount of people that are going to be doing the fight. It's going to be a 10-person fight. A hundred percent going to be this is going to be the biggest dangerous fight uh, of all of I. So this is going to be. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Look forward to that tomorrow or uh, sorry, next Wednesday. And uh, yeah, lots of AoE and disables. I mean, there's going to be some shit, but uh, yeah, we did pretty well pacing. Pacing kept going Uh, as a DM. This is always usually pretty challenging because you want to just be like. Keep the pacing, keep the pacing, especially with combat. There's a lot of like, okay, what do you do? Feel free to move. I'm going to go ahead and move over to this now. So I felt even combat we were doing, 
They were getting very snappy very well. The shared turns, I think, also helped a lot with that. So, yeah, we'll continue to look at that. So, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you'd like to support the world of IO, head on over to our Patreon. You can donate as little or as much as you want. Make sure that you donate responsibly, that you are not uh, hurting your personal budget. But a uh, big, big shout out, of course, uh, to those that have been uh, members of our patreon because that's what allows us to do io as a full-time gig as a full-time thing it allows us to do things for example like hire map makers if you're a DD map maker if you're familiar with tile set based programs we i would like to hire you or potentially hire you uh also want to give a shout out to why not gemology baker staunch why traveler connor on dvd starter pack loop our pander twitching pickle and eagle wolf for being our big patreon sponsors thank you guys so much for that again um yeah if you're looking to make a little extra cash making making maps in D and D uh, we've got it pinned over in our announcement section on the IO discord. Be sure uh, to head on over there. Uh, and if you are good with like dungeon Payer studio or any tile based map making program, uh, head on over there and apply. I like to see what you can do and potentially hire you for, uh, to make maps for IO. Um, currently looking for a bunch of map makers, not only for our current phase, which is phase two, um, but I'm thinking ahead to the future, uh, phase three of IO, which is definitely going to need map makers, map designers, things of that nature. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at the applications. I'm going to do that tomorrow since I'm going to have the actual day off from D&D, &D, which will be kind of nice so I can get some other back end work done. And uh, we've already hired one map maker. Uh, I'm looking to hire at least two more. So, uh, fill out an application, show me what you got. I would greatly appreciate that very, 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 very much. Uh, be sure to, what else? Yeah, join our IO Discord, so you can go ahead to the spoiler section. You can go ahead and talk about today's session. Absolutely awesome. Just follow me on Twitter. Uh, we're trying to get to 10,000 followers over there. We're very close. I think we're a little over 9,700, so that are following today uh and follow the youtube channel uh youtube i'm a little behind on hopefully i'll be catching up on the youtube videos here very shortly and uh you know yeah that's it that's 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 all she wrote uh thank you guys again for watching we will not be here tomorrow um if we are here tomorrow um <laughs> yeah for anyone that's adding me asking questions about mechanics i'm not answering them because you're just gonna have to watch it find out why would i do that why would i tell you this shit can so and so do this who's this i watch the show dude and find out um but uh yeah uh if i am here tomorrow it will be for a non DD stream more than likely i'll be doing a little bit of satisfactory and chill uh definitely a fun time next DD session is going to be friday uh with misdemeanor at 4 p.m est uh and uh yeah that's it that's it Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you all very much. Thank you for the support. I'll, yeah, we're, we're, we're approaching the act's end here. So this is going to be really good. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you all very much. And I will see you all the next time. Bye-bye. Uh,